and out a few that I hadn't seen. I was like, that's insane. Oh, the one with the <clears throat> with the police officer that got like railroaded by like that was amazing. Six dudes <laughs> on her department. <laughs> She's back. I ain't afraid of no nut. Yeah, I bet you're not. <laughs> I bet you're not afraid of no I nut. Bet you're not. <laughs> oh my god, I lost it. All I'm literally right. driving to go teach CPR and I'm fucking dying. <laughs> Welcome, every single weirdo out there on the internet to today's live stream. I have a special guest who you can't see right now because I've I've shuttled him off to the side. But he is the gosh, I'd say the businessman of butt stuff, the EMT of what's inside of me. <laughs> EMT badge 502. Good evening, everybody. What is going on? And here you are. I got your Instagram uh, pulled up so everybody can see your beautiful face. Oh, I know they might be used to your underwear. TikTok. Actually, should I should I go to your TikTok? Because your TikTok's probably got like yeah, actual videos on there. Yeah, there's a bunch of videos on both. Yeah. Who do you got? Where's your largest following? TikTok or? TikTok's the largest following. It's somewhere around like 630K. You would think Instagram something like the two, maybe 60, 255, 260 range. Yeah. Come on, TikTok. Just take me to your website. Yeah. My computer's being slow. I blame <clears throat> the internets and the AT and T phone outage. <laughs> that, that giant I, phone outage that everybody was crying about. Everybody's thinking is the next. It's the next conspiracy theory where they're saying that they're going to practice. This is a run through. It's a practice for when they this do it, it during the election. So then whoever gets voted in can, mm -hmm. you know. Oh, yeah. Now that's what I'm talking about. I fixed it. I got it. I'll take care of it. Yeah. <laughs> Mm-hmm. <clears throat> now that's what I'm talking uh, about. Yeah. We, there, was, uh, there was actually a bunch of videos of people screaming at like at and employees like, just losing their mind. They're like, you need to fix my phone. Like, it's not me. <laughs> oh my gosh. TikTok just went crazy. It just decided to work all of a sudden. What is it? Is it EMT badge? Uh... Just, just badge 502 on TikTok. Yeah. Believe it or not, when I opened up my Instagram, badge 502 was taking those sons of guns. Dude, and now, it's not, and now it's not. <laughs> so many fake accounts. On yeah, here. oh, so many, so many, <laughs> so many. You, th and that's the ones that are still up. I freaking, I've probably pulled down twenty or thirty accounts, man. Dude. This goofy mug. Who wants to be me? Get out of here. Right, <laughs> dude. I, I look at mine and I'm like, well, you want to, you want to be me? You're not even making money off me. Like these people <laughs> got like ten or twenty thousand. There's one that's got like seventy thousand uh, followers Ooh. on there, and mine. I started <laughs> mine right back over. I've got, I think, like twenty. <laughs> yeah it's insane i've actually had my account flagged as an imposter account before and i'm just like you know i uh if you verified me and, uh, and they're right like, yeah we're, well we're not going to do that that's that's insane we can't do that okay <laughs> then why am i posting on your platform seriously it's insane and it's ins it's insane because i have you know we have merch we have all these different things we have um a Kofi where you could donate and people, you know, you can fraud somebody. You can absolutely fraud somebody. For oh, dude, I've got people that are <clears> on <throat> TikTok and uh, Telegram that are pretending mm. to be me all the time. And they say, in, even in my YouTube comments, they'll say, oh, hey, and these poor dopes. I don't, gosh, I don't know. You, you got to have <clears> some sort of mental deficiency in order to follow me, first of all. And then <laughs> two, to then look at an account that might have the same photo, but the name of the account is, call me on my Telegram, 725-898-182. And you're like, hey, AC, are you trying to sell me a gun on the comments? No, dude. Yep. Look, yep. look it Got doesn't me. even have, <laughs> it doesn't even have a name for the you account. You call me, I'm it a just, small arms dealer on the side, but I still work at the PD because I love the hours. You know? Yeah, you know, I really <laughs> love just, you know, hand, I'm so pro Second Amendment that I just mail out <laughs> random rifles to folks that I see on the internet. Because who oh, wouldn't, you know what I mean? freaking up we um you have these folks that are like you know they'll, they'll call up and they'll say you know you know somebody offered me this on the phone i sent them my bank account and all of a sudden i'm out like ten thousand dollars oh yeah how about that did do what, what like <clears throat> do they I'm not down. have like did, did it's like nobody ever heard of the uh the nigerian <clears throat> prince scams back in the day <laughs> like it, fake bs you won a lottery thing in the comments or from bullshit accounts that are like yours, like your badge 502. There's badge 5027, 5029. Yeah. It started out as badge 5020 and went. <laughs> yeah, and they just went from there. They just went, added a new number there. every time. And of course, yeah, they've got like 800 <clears throat> followers. Like, yeah, dude, I created an 800 follower account just Caught to comment me. in my own comments about who's going to get a free butt plug. That's it. Speaking of butt plugs. 100% of the time, it works every time. <laughs> right? 
speaking of butt plugs, that's kind of what got you here. Like all it's, of your videos a... have to do. It's, it's such a great bit where every time you see something crazy on the internet that is in any way, shape, or form dick shaped, phallical object, <laughs> you just look at two fingers. Come here. Don't. Don't do it. No. Don't do it. Please no. Freaking... Once TikTok decided they weren't going to give you any uh, any love for short videos, then I turned them into long videos. So now they're all about a minute, minute, minute and ten seconds long. So I have to actually. What was what I was doing was I was spilling it all out in the uh, the description because if you leave it in the description and the video is playing in the background five or six times, you know you're getting these views and they're just reading. Look at you, and, you little Ryan. Oh, you, you well, little you. Them views. I'll take that. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. <laughs> but uh, now it's uh, I took that and I put it into actual dialogue. So now it's yeah, now it's actual conversation with the camera instead. So what what kicked <clears throat> it off? What was the first? phallic object video where you were like don't <laughs> please please you're pleading with the camera or and then it eventually turned into you just like stern dadding it and being like don't do it you're gonna figure it out don't do it like what was the I, first uh, one that kicked it off where you were like i think this is a fun <clears throat> character to play i want to do this again so i was uh, i was making a bunch of videos before that just for fun because i'd, I'd be at my squad house and just be bored and uh just yeah, there's a lot of downtime in between like bodies getting shot stabbed old people falling down the mm -hmm. stairs or your frequent flyers who are like i think i want to hurt myself can you give me a ride to oh the hospital god, every it's, it's, thursday it's so real oh my god it's so real for us it's mostly uh it's mostly those fall victims the occasional the occasional edp we got a lot of like uh of uh older folks in the community so yeah. we get a lot of a lot of medical during the summer you get more traumas car accidents things like that that's true um but we, so we um i would just you know just be there just making goofy videos i think my first video was like when i became vice president of our organization i made like a i'm so pretty and she liked this video with, like <laughs> zoomed in and like zoomed in on my mailbox and then zoomed back out when it said like vp on it i was like that, that's right I'm, now i'm the man right now, now i'm a big deal yeah yeah this is i'm technically savvy now i'm like i know how to talk <laughs> i know how to talk <laughs> so uh, I'm, good I'm just with making words like goofy now. <clears throat> yeah i can word <laughs> uh and i'm just making like stupid stuff that was making me laugh and then um they were all getting, you know, massive, you know, 2,000 views, you know, Re really, really earth shattering stuff, you know. Hey, man, that'll fill up, <laughs> that'll fill up a basketball court. You can't, you can't <laughs> shit on 2,000 views, man. That an entire high that. school auditorium is like halfway yeah, full yeah. of people that want to watch whatever bullshit you're putting whatever. out there. If it's 2,000. <laughs> and then um, one day I saw this. It was a random, um, it was like a kinetic sculpture, and it was like serpentine. It was just kind of going like this. It just looked kind of like a little sketch. Yeah. So, so I was like, mm, 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 mm. So I, I did that, and I did the did the zoom, the slow zoom, and just dropped the no. And I was like, okay, just another video in the books, you know, yeah. whatever. Threw it, uh, threw it up, and I think it was probably like eight o'clock at night when I posted it. I was knocked out and bunked by by ten fifteen. I got a phone call at like three in the morning from like two of my buddies that were hanging out and they're like, yo, your video is exploding. And I looked at it, it had like 400,000 views and I was like, holy crap, what is this? Yeah. Um, comments were, you know, straight down the wazoo. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, that they think that video ended up hitting somewhere in like the seven or eight, uh, eight million views after a little while. Good for and you. Uh, now we're sitting at, uh, I think I probably have like 15 or 15 or 20 videos with a million plus. Um, I wish I could what? flex those numbers right now, but my whole uh, TikTok, I had to start all over again. I wish I knew. I think I had one that's got like I, oh, one that okay, had seven oh, million. Okay, something. Angry Cops Dynasty. Whatever yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Angry Cops Dynasty. That I've been watching since like 2015. <laughs> right? Yeah, like yeah, me. I'm, I'm sitting here bitching about shit. And you're like, all right. You know, once you quiet down, Dad. Yeah, I hear you. Got you. A, you got a really cool shine coming off those uh, plaques in the back there. <laughs> <laughs> I threw them up there just to make you jealous, <laughs> little, just little to put ambient. you in your place, let you know where RGB you stand. Ambiance, you know. <laughs> it's like I usually only have one up, but you know it's the winter time, and I fancy myself in the winter time, so let's put both up. <laughs> <laughs> I got to keep myself warm with all my plaques. That's you know. it, man. You're getting that radiation, <laughs> dude. I'm so dumb. I wanted so we, when it, when I first started doing YouTube. You know, the goal is to hit those those uh, mile markers, you know, the 100,000 and the 1 million. And I had hit like 100,000 a while previously, and then I was about to hit a million. And I'm like, man, I've never gotten the 100,000 silver plaque mailed to me. And I wanted it really badly because I wanted that cool little play button that it used to be. And now it's just this fucking negative 
cardboard oh, no. piece of shit. Nah, it's not a piece of shit. It's nice. It's nice. They it is nice. They but, changed it up on you? <clears throat> yeah, they changed it up. It was no longer the silver play button. And I was... And so by the time that I, you know, realized that all I had to do was click a button on the upper right-hand corner and talk to, like, a YouTube representative that does, like, customer service, but for cr content creators, mm -hmm. all I had to do was send them a message. Hey, listen, I hit 100,000 a while ago. Um, I haven't gotten the plaque yet. Like, what do I have to do? You already have all my information. I thought this was mm -hmm. automatic. They're like, oh, no, you just got to message us. We'll send it. It'll be in the mail in like three weeks. I was like, oh, okay. Uh, and then I got okay. the newer one. And I was like, oh, I miss. I wish I could have got the old play button with the glass paint in front of it and your name etched in it. But I don't know. Maybe I, I could get one made if I asked them to do the retro. But I don't even know if they do that anymore. Now I have to have it custom made. Right. Well, the first ones are free. Like they'll give you, they give you, hey, you made it to 100,000, you made it to a million. This is on us. We appreciate you. And rightfully so. I don't know how much this award costs, but they're making more money off of me having hit 100,000 uh, followers and the monetary mm -hmm. gains that they get from their, you know, them throwing ads in it and commercials, et cetera, Absolutely. to make, to make one of these things. Yeah. They don't, they don't even know that that's sent out. Yeah, right? They're just like, hey, whatever. That's that's pennies on the dollar for yeah, that. There's another one. Just send it out. <laughs> just get it out. Two, two Gs and angry? I don't know. It doesn't matter. Send it out. <laughs> He'll be happy. You know, he can just scratch <laughs> out the top G and make it two Ys. Yeah. Angry. <laughs> make it two Ys. But yeah, that's that's pretty much how it started. And then it was just kind of, for a few of them, it was just rinse and repeat. And then I made um, made a bunch of like 911 videos that I thought were pretty decent. I made a lot of videos that just kind of made me laugh. <laughs> yeah. Dude, isn't it frustrating when you like put some time into a video and go, oh my God, I love this idea. This makes me laugh. And you put it up and just. Yep. And those are the, those are the ones that do exactly that. Dude, all the ones yeah. that I care about that are like my babies. And I'm like, oh, I love this one. This is a great idea. I like what I did here. This joke is funny. I can't wait to throw this in after. And then it's just like people go, oh, that was cool. <laughs> <laughs> that's cool where's that's the other it? stuff doesn't even do well <laughs> normally it's just a, a tenth of what you would normally get for views you're sitting there like Man, you have this existential crisis i thought it was funny is, <laughs> am i not funny am i not funny <laughs> am i not cool i'm not cool anymore i'm lame and then you, you throw like up something bit. that you just thought was whatever takes you two seconds to edit and then people yeah, are like this it. is the best one yet this is like, a I masterpiece <laughs> yeah it's the mona lisa it's Vincent Van Gogh over here he told me not to stick it in my butt. A million. <laughs> Follow. <laughs> I made this one video. It was like, uh, uh, can you call 911 from across country? Right? So if like, I live in Seattle, you live in New York, can you call 911? Right? And I'm like, like, for that person over in New York. And I'm like, there's a couple ways you can get that done. Yeah. Um, and I made that video and it, it, it hit. It hit It hit really well. And I'm like, cool, I'm going to make more of these types of videos. So I think the next one was... Uh, something along the lines of like, what could you do for a first responder when they come to your house? You know, how, what what can you do to make their job easier or more efficient? I think they got like six views. Dude, oh my like, god, that's information like, everybody <clears throat> should have. What did you put in I'm it? Like, what was the, what did the video say? Uh, clear a path. Uh, if you have snow outside, shovel your snow, or have somebody shovel your snow. Um, be um, if you if you know CPR, if we're coming, you know, if you're able to start CPR, how to do CPR. Bunch of, just a bunch of random stuff. Make sure that uh, if the person has medications, that they're either gathered up or yep. all that type of stuff. Um, ID. But, if you don't have, if you don't have ID, their medication is fine because all their information is on their medication. Yeah, a bunch of little stuff like that. And uh, that video, some of these videos do way better on Instagram than they do on TikTok. Mm -hmm. um, TikTok seems seems to really want me to stay in my lane. So <laughs> yeah, TikTok's like this weird <clears throat> bubblegum bullshit dream mm -hmm. area, yeah. and Instagram is kind of like the Twitter of photography <clears throat> and and videos right like instagram yeah. people will shit on you if it's garbage people will just Absolutely. straight up hit your dms up or write in the comments this is trash yeah twitter is, is just a toxic it. place in general there is there is no single post there could be a post of a woman giving birth to a child and somebody would be like why isn't it the other race they would be like why is it why is this race having more kids than other people they would just That's say right. some ignorant shit like that there's never an only positive comment tweet out there there are positive yeah. comment you know comments yeah, instagram posts ruthless. and you know a couple of, like people that disagree with you here and there but it's somewhat cordial i think because right. you can go click on their account and then there's you know pictures of them and their family so they're they have to be a little you know <laughs> nice. be a little... i but... had a I, I commented on a video it was somebody it was, it was a car accident and uh it was because someone didn't check their blind spot so I, my comment was there are no blind spots only lazy drivers check your blind spot that's a right? good point 
and somebody goes, well, you know, if there's this, 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 and this, I'm like, doesn't matter. Check your blind spot. But, 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 and he get, they go off on this whole tangent. I'm like, bro, why are we having this conversation? Just like you're, just check your blind spot. Like, you ready? Like, why am you I getting emotional this? about this right now? <laughs> and I'm back. That's it. Oh, yeah. Oh. He's like, it's, he's like, it's dangerous. I drive this Camaro, and if, if I look over my shoulder, all I see is the inside of my car. I was like, okay. What do you want me to tell you? You're, you're okay. Cool, dude. What? Just be aware of that. What? Uh, yeah. This isn't. The story isn't what? about you. You fat <laughs> forty-eight-year-old like, guy with a midlife crisis seriously. buying a Camaro. <laughs> I'm like, seriously, why are we having this conversation? Who cares? Check your blind spot. There are no blind spots. Only lazy drivers. <laughs> I love it. It's true. Yeah. They don't, dude, they don't teach me to not check my blind spot when I'm driving the ambulance, right? Yeah. <laughs> it. Oh, let's talk <clears throat> about drivers while we've got the lights and sirens on. Let's touch on that topic. You drive, so you drive, right? I drive too, yeah. Bro, how many times have you gone lights and sirens? <clears throat> going through oh my God, anything. Screaming. And people will just come out. Of, they'll back out of their driveway. It'll be midnight. You can see the red and blue bouncing off of every window for a quarter mile. And people will just go, I'm taking a left now right in front of you. And my you're slamming on the brakes. And poor Jimmy in the back that's on the gurney. <laughs> That's He's trying to like, out the back of the ambulance. Pass a kidney stone is like bashing his head on like your back seat because you had to mm -hmm. brake check mm -hmm. everybody. Mm -hmm. Happens, you know where I, you know where I have the worst experience is actually when I'm on the highway. There's only a couple times that I have to get on the highway to get uh, get any to any of these hospitals. Sometimes people want to go to a specific location. Yeah. Or if I need to go to like a level one trauma, I got to go out to like UMDMJ here. <clears throat> Where's and, that? Uh, that's uh, in Newark. That's a uh, University Hospital in Newark. Okay. And. Uh, so you got to get on like Route 21 or whatever and take, take some different roads that way. Brutal. Brutal. It's like unbelievable. Get the fuck out of the way. I think it's yeah. I think it's kind of what I said about like the lights bouncing off of buildings. If you're on the highway, there's nothing for it to bounce off of. So this the is, only time those, you like, see smaller. Yeah. Smaller the only hours. time you'll see like the lights really coming up on you is if you're aware of your rear uh, your mirrors, your rear view mirrors on, you know, both the left and right side and then obviously the one mm -hmm. in the center. Otherwise, you're kind of in a little weird zone. Like, I've caught myself being like, oh, shit, that thing's kind of coming up a little fast. I better move over. Never were they yeah. right on my ass and, like, hitting the horn. But I've been like, oh, oh, hey, that's coming up kind of quick. I better I better move to get out of their way. But, I yeah. Once followed a, I once followed a horse trailer because I, I had to get off. And uh, I followed a horse trailer for a quarter of a mile with my hand on the air horn. And both my sirens blaring just, just and he just, just wouldn't move. Just would not move. <clears throat> they were probably Every, race horses or show horses. And probably. You, you need to give right away to show horses, okay? <laughs> They're oh, not just normal horses. horses going to the glue it, factory. These are show <laughs> horses, right? These are the, these are the fancy schmancy ones. These have names. All right? Yeah, <clears throat> like people names. This is Francis. Yeah, but like for, me, for me to pull into the next lane and go around them, I, it was like that weird gap of time, that weird span of time where like it wouldn't have made sense, but still just kind of get the hell out of my way for like two seconds. Yeah, yeah. It's like oh, you yeah. can't give them a middle finger, but what you can do is go around them so that they see you right away and go, oh. <laughs> I like to clap. My favorite thing is, I, you, you know, I have to be professional, and I can't mm -hmm. be mean. So I'll give thumbs up. I'll be like, <laughs> good job. And that sarcasm, like, yeah, good job, good job. Or a, You did great. <laughs> you did great. I've never been prouder. Uh, dude, the, the slow clap and the thumbs up, it's, it's sarcastic. <laughs> And so they can't get mad. Like, if you flip somebody off in road rage, they're like, oh, F you. It's not my fault. It's your fault. You know, I, I can't check my blind spot. I'm in a Camaro. How, <laughs> how, 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 you know I can't do that, you jerk. They get mad. But if you're sarcastic, like, oh, wow, you did a great job there. You did a great job of not getting out of my way with a vehicle with lights and sirens and an air horn. Good job. It makes people go, uh, you're right. I made a mistake. Uh, I, made a, I messed up then. Yeah. I messed up. There's yes, no combativeness. It's just shame. <laughs> We're coming around, oh, what's the worst is when you're coming around like a, a turn, like a, something that would be relatively sharp, and people are just excessively over the uh, the line, the yeah. stop line. Oh, my God. I'm like, okay, we'll just we'll just all sit here. We'll just all sit here. We'll just all sit here. We're on your <clears> time. <throat> hope, it's like, hope why do you think that here. line's there? Do you think they put that there for any reason? Or, nah, probably not. Fine. Yeah. Yeah. Extra paint. It's a suggestion. <laughs> a little extra paint goes a long way. We just put it on the road just for looks. Dude, my... I <clears> saw <throat> a video on Instagram the other day and it was a it had to have been a mom or it was a school worker no no it was definitely a mom and this woman and I'm assuming other parents 
had to have made a number of complaints to the local law enforcement department that had their area, if it was sheriffs or city coppers or whatever. And the complaint was, hey, like the traffic isn't stopping when these kids get off the school bus. It was a you know, massive school bus. You got a bunch of kids that get off at like this area that's kind of busy on this like two or three lane street. Uh and you know, you stop, duh, stop, so you don't hit the freaking bus and the kids, right? That's the yeah. point of like the the red stop sign like, going out. They got and the, the cool little flashing. portable bus stop sign. Yeah. yeah, right. You know, they got the little yellow arm to make sure the kids don't like go walk in front of the bus and the bus driver run them over because they're too close to the front. So there's this woman. She's recording it, mm-hmm. and she's like all hyped up, like one of those people that watches trains and records it and then starts screaming oh, yeah. when they see the train. She's oh, all excited God. because she sees the bus slow down. And she's made enough complaints to where there's officers sitting like oh, no. 300 yards away. <laughs> and they're just in plain sight. They're not hiding. There's like three cars, three sheriff's cars just chilling there. Just like waiting for the bus to stop. Just waiting. And then like five cars go. And she's like, yeah, baby, get them. <laughs> go get them, boys. And the cops are like, Ew! you know, and pull them all over. <laughs> and they're like, hey, cars. here's a $500 ticket for passing a school bus when it's got its lights on. <clears throat> That's a bad thing. You shouldn't do that. You should, and, probably shouldn't do that. And they even had like a little uh, body cam video. And the cop is like on the radio with his buddy in the other car. He's like, I've got the truck. You get the red car. Go. And it's, <laughs> it was, it was it's great. It's called out a, a bus stop sting operation. <laughs> <laughs> Can Nicole you imagine like being in briefing? Seven Bearcats come rolling down the road. <laughs> There's like a, hel- a helicopter just like flying <laughs> low and blocking the road so nobody can get by. Like an action <laughs> movie. Up, they land a Blackhawk on the highway. <laughs> There's like six guys that fast rope down into the middle of the road and put up a barricade. And then they like oh guide God. people over to give them tickets. Smoke grenades coming out. <laughs> SWAT officers just like That'd breaching windows. Soccer moms <laughs> crying because they didn't see the flashing lights. Uh, like the stuff that I, I see, I mean, it can't even be, com- it's probably not even comparable to the stuff that you don't see, you know? Oh, right. Like, I, I saw like this one video once. It was uh, an officer and there was like this intoxicated female and uh, she was married to this judge and this judge came outside. <laughs> I was giving the officer a hard time, and he had to scream at her and threw a knife hand at him. It was getting really, oh, it was getting really, when that knife hand came out, man, I'm like, I know that freaking knife hand. Wait a second. <laughs> this story sounds oddly sounds familiar. Sounds vaguely familiar. I'm so you're saying there, an I'm... officer yelled at a judge after his wife was detained? I don't know. Hmm. Sounds, sounds vaguely familiar. Who would do such Dude, a I'm... thing? I'm sitting there and I'm watching it on Donut. <laughs> I'm like, I see this knife hand come out. I'm like, oh, oh, I know that knife hand. I've seen that knife hand. <laughs> Dude, it's it's. You know, look at one of the guys in the in the chat. Uh, was his Dalen felt he's like a knife hand will stop. A knife hand stop signs for school buses will automatically stop traffic. You're like, hundred percent, hundred percent. Dude, when when Donut Donut make he makes jokes about it. We because we talk and he goes. Dude, I don't want you to get in trouble and like be on the internet when you're doing your job. But at the same time, I love it when you're on the internet doing your job because it's such a great breakdown video (laughs) and they always end up doing pretty well for him. He was like, angry cop does something weird. And then he (laughs) plays it off like it was nothing. You're like, oh, wait, enhance, enhance. (laughs) It's you. Hmm. How you doing, Rich? It's it's always always how it goes. Busts out his, what does he call like his special... This CIA, FBI, <laughs> CIA, super duper crime analysis technology. That's it. It's just a little sketch pad. It's his beautiful, like, yeah. Microsoft paint. <laughs> he just hand doodles hmm, stuff with a looks, mouse. This looks familiar. Enhance. Enhance. <laughs> oh, man. And, and you know what's funny is, like, some of that stuff is like a normal day thing. That's wild. Like yelling at the judge. You're just like, okay, these two people fought their neighbors. We got to separate them. One guy's drunk and he doesn't, he needs to be quiet because he's just going to get himself in more trouble. Handcuffs in the back of the car. Like it's such a normal yeah, it's occurrence. It's just funny because it's, it's a judge and you wouldn't expect the judge to act like that. But he's like, and you said, you, you know, though, you freaking hit the nail on the head. You're like, how they know you're a judge. Like, how's this going to look if I just let everything just stop? Dude. How's this going to look? Oh, I. Pfft. I was in the attorney general's office. I got interviewed by the attorney general's office uh, of the state of New York because if you get five complaints in two years and then they, they open an investigation on you. And the point is to like prevent police corruption. And okay, that's, that's cool. 
my five complaints weren't like complaints from citizens um, saying, hey, this guy did a bad job. I don't like what he did. They were internal affairs investigations onto incidents that they thought would be, you know, worthy of their their attention. So when that happened and the body cam went out and then the news got a hold of it, they're like, all right, let's look at all the body cam, do an investigation and make sure that what, you know, Rich did was appropriate, right? Is there anything right. that he shouldn't have done? And that was like four of them just, <laughs> had, just, just internal affairs doing their job just and making sure thing. that, hey, he didn't break any rules. Nothing was, nothing, uh, um, oh my gosh, what am I trying to say? Nothing, nothing went out. Of, nothing got out of hand. Nothing inappropriate happened. Although, you know, me yelling f bombs at somebody might be, you know, frowned upon. I mean, it could be, it could be construed, right? But, so, but like, I mean, you weren't wrong. Like, what the heck? Well, I had to say that for two things, for two reasons. Like, one, you, you need to know that you can't say that and get away with it. Like, you don't get to, because now what? Like, it's not your show anymore. You're gonna do that. And think that you could do that every single time you get pulled over or something like that? No, no, no. Mm -hmm. And two, all the neighborhoods saw that. And I have to Everybody. show the neighborhood quickly. No, 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 no. You're not going to get special treatment here. This isn't going to get pushed on the bus. We are a bunch of dirty cops. That's mm -hmm. not how... This isn't the 1940s. <laughs> and you're, you know, Don Capicola. And, you know, <laughs> Joey Bag and Bagels. You know, you don't that's get a, to... That's us over here in Jersey. You yeah, know? I know the mayor. So you're going to let me go with this, eh? This is yeah, just the thing. Slide. slips a $20 in my, yeah, you know, shirt here's, pocket. Here's a Go get yourself something nice. Get yourself a, a sandwich and <laughs> shut your dirty mouth, you know? Shove a broom up your ass and sweep it's while you sick. walk away. <laughs> so it, it's just, so yeah, I like I had to set an example so then everybody in the neighborhood would be like, oh, okay, cool. This is taken care of. I can go inside now. And they're all probably like, oh, they got him. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, they got him. <laughs> oh, yeah, that was, so that was weird. It's like he gets away with everything. <laughs> I can't even imagine. And it's 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 sucky because you don't want to have to put yourself in that position, especially when you know who he is. But yeah. it's like, it's like, what are you going to do? Yeah. Dude, I say it all the time. <laughs> I don't arrest people. They arrest themselves. Mm -hmm. They break the law or they push the wrong buttons for the wrong person that then calls 911 and, and then they want mm -hmm. us to arrest that other individual. Mm -hmm. I don't I don't just show mm -hmm. up and put handcuffs on a stranger and go, all right, it's, it's your turn today. <laughs> just for funsies. Right. I was I was enjoying my cup of coffee and watching the last episode of Archer. Like I was hanging out. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, I, I'm I'm <clears throat> looking at a dope house in the bushes, hiding, trying to get the guy that drops off the weight or does the money pickup. I don't I don't want to go to some neighbor dispute. <laughs> Solve it yourselves. We're out here doing the things. Oh, the pupper in the background wants attention. Oh, yeah. She does. One of the two. Give me a pupper. Come say hi. You got two oh, rescues? There's a little one. Oh, the white one. Yeah, I got my little. This is my little puka right here. Echo our uh, our pity. She's a big lazy floof right there. Dude, I, I I got a rescue pit. He's got three legs. His name is Profile, and we nicknamed him Scoot. And <laughs> I like it. He's <clears throat> phenomenal. Just loves to sleep, loves to nap, energy yeah. when he wants to go out and play <clears throat> for a couple times a day. But other than that, he's a fantastic dog. Yeah, Echo has a lot of has a lot of get up and go. But once once that's over, just Plop. Done. Oh, yeah. Hit the I'm off good. button. Hundred percent. It's a full. It's a full blown light switch. So how long? So you're a dispatcher, <clears throat> and you're an EMT. How long I, have you been doing both at the same time, or is it just so, one started up and then you started doing the other? So, obviously, the best time to become an EMT is uh, during the pandemic, right? So, <laughs> that's actually when uh, when I uh, I, st I had started the process in uh, 2019 or 2018. 2018 I started the process and was probationary and I was kind of learning the ropes and doing all that after I think it was like nine months they're like all right you feel like you're ready to go to EMT school I said yeah <clears throat> they um they take care of your EMT it's a volunteer organization so they took care of my EMT for me um they sent me in uh February of 2020 and that was that was the wrap after about geez February 2020 you got <clears throat> you doing it right during the middle of lockdowns it, it's 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 as soon as soon as we started i was in emt school for about four weeks maybe uh three weeks and uh full-blown shutdown at the hospital it was at uh the local hospital here mm -hmm. and uh full-blown shutdown uh we weren't able to do practicals now they already they it was a hybrid class they have a hybrid class mine was full in person they completely got rid of the in-person made it 100 percent online so everything was done through like zoom type meetings and stuff like that <clears throat> but uh 
we weren't able to meet for any practicals. So, so how did you do any, practicals? It's, it's crazy, isn't it? So what ended up happening is once restrictions let up, we met all at once, knocked out all the practicals. Mind, mind you, we had to basically teach ourselves how to do that at that point. So when we got to the practicals, <clears throat> they did a quick lesson on it and then made sure we were proficient in it. And then after all that was done, we did our final for it. So I had already passed my written final before I even took any of my practicals. Um, so that was quite quite an experience. Yeah. Uh, meanwhile, they wouldn't let me ride the ambulance during the time because they <clears throat> they had a shutdown in the in the squad itself. Our borough said, listen, if you're not an EMT, you're not on the ambulance. Um, so they made an exception for me because I already was driver trained, so they only let me drive. How did that help? It it didn't. I could still be exposed to anything, so I don't yeah. know what the difference was. <clears throat> but There was a lot of weird rules that people who have no medical knowledge just decided to do. Yeah, basically. Like I was eight. working uh, I was working at uh, a local gun range. I was a firearms instructor at one of the ranges here. Jeez, and, you're doing uh, everything. <clears throat> you're everything. Everything. Roll, roll the dice. Figure out. <laughs> I've done everything. I was in the restaurant business for 11 years. I, a lot of stuff. <laughs> um, and while I was... Uh, while that job had shut down, the job that I ended up picking up was a big a big thing during that time was temp, temp, temping uh, foreheads you know you had to every every job yeah. that was still open you had to get your forehead temped and uh, i was doing that i was actually doing that at the company that makes uh like uh dust off the compressed air for your keyboard yeah oh is everybody high there just huffing dust <laughs> it's, off? W- <laughs> it's wild so like it ha- that stuff has um has bitrix in it what's that and what bitrix is like that um uh, it's a bitter agent that they add to stuff so people don't don't, don't do exactly it. that and uh it's weird because you don't you don't smell it, you don't taste it or anything, but you're always wearing a mask. And when you walk through the plant, that stuff collects on your mask. And you don't realize it, and then you take your mask off when you go back into your office, and you're like, all right, ah, ah. <laughs> like taste it on your lips, it's terrible. Oh. Um, but I was very lucky to have that job because I didn't, I, I worked for three hours during the day, or three hours in the morning, three hours at night. And in that middle time, I stayed at that office, <laughs> And I studied. I just studied all the time. And while I was there is when I got the call to uh, get uh, go for my first interview at the PD. Um, and then, again, COVID still going on. Mm-hmm. It took almost a year before I got the second phone call. And by that time, I had to update the, the, the resume because I had three semesters of college that I had put in. I had put, I passed my EMT. I became a CPR instructor. Did all the stuff in this interim while I was waiting for this job to go through. And uh, finally, that all worked out. So I've been an EMT and a dispatcher for just about the same amount of time. Damn. Yeah, it was coming a wild up ride. On your, on your four-year, uh, well, three, yeah. completing three years, coming up on yeah. going five into your years, fourth. It'll be five years uh, with my with my EMS department. Um, but it will be, I just did my research for three years, my, my three-year research. That was uh, in December. So okay. now this, I'm, in, I'm into my fourth year of EMS and my fourth year of, of dispatch. How is dispatch going? Because me being in the city that I'm at, we've got like, I think it's like four full-time dispatchers every day. There's at least like a minimum manpower is three, I know. And then sometimes four, but so I'm and it's in insane. A... Like the call volume is insane. And they'll get so these I'll... people, we'll hear it on the radio. Um, <laughs> you know what? The complainant is uh, swearing at me. So we don't really have any information. Uh, yeah. You can go there if you want, but they are not going to be very helpful. <laughs> I, um, I'm in a, a, a relatively small town, uh, so I am actually the only person that's in that box for 12 hours. I mean, I get the occasional visitor, which is always nice, um, but I'm the only person on. So I dispatch EMS, I dispatch fire, dispatch uh, PD, uh, send everybody. Yeah. Uh, for us, we have uh, we outsource our fire. <clears throat> yeah. So we uh, so for me, you don't have valleys, I'm, I'm, or you just have like a, a sh- like a county fire department. So, so we use the, the neighboring towns fire. Okay, and the neighboring the towns have. Town. Full-time firefighters or volleys? Yeah, uh, they are full times. Okay. Yeah, and they have their own EMS, but apparently we end up in their town more. Uh, <laughs> we're, we're literally like their second ambulance, and the town on both sides. We're both of their second ambulances, and our our EMS is a hundred percent volunteer, daytime and nighttime. I don't know how they're able to have volleys for the daytime. It's insane, <clears throat> but yeah, they're amazing, amazing, really, really good EMS department that they have. This is not the department I work for EMS for. It's a, I work for a different town, but okay. Yeah, they're pretty. They're pretty impressive. Volunteer EMS. 
during the day. Yeah, both during the day and night. Yeah. I don't even know where. I don't, I don't know nothing about that. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know nothing about that. <laughs> like the town I live in, we're a paid fire EMS department. Um, but the town that I work in, uh, the town that I'm an EMT in, we're paid during the day, volley at night. Um, and our fire is full time volley. And then the town that I'm a, I'm a dispatcher in, we don't even have a fire department, and our EMS is full time. Jeez. Volunteer. How many guys are in your department if you're in a town that small? Like, it's like 50? they have they have an obscene for for the police department or yeah, PD. I think we have like thirty eight guys. Okay, yeah. so you're a decent sized town. Yeah, oh, we yeah, have like uh, we run four thirty thousand people in it. I think we're at like twenty twenty six. I can I can find out. Nailed but, it, bruh. Nailed it. Let's let's find out. Let's see how close we both are. Uh, uh, population. Has anybody ever recognized you on the job and been like, I don't put stuff in my butt because you tell me not to? 100%. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, so while you're like working on it, they got a gunshot to the stomach. They're like, man, I'm bleeding <laughs> out. You, hey, you're the guy who tells me not to put stuff in my butt on TikTok. So in 2021, when this census was taken, we sit at about 7,800 people. In the town? Yeah. That is a, that is a very small town. Yeah. We look like an aircraft carrier. Just a long strip. It's just a long strip. Weird. Yeah, it's a tiny little, tiny little bugger. Be we few, we be mighty. <laughs> God. So wait, so it. tell me a story about when somebody recognized you on the job. Like, were you ever doing like working on them and they're bleeding out? And they go, <laughs> so or did, have been... you ever gotten somebody and been like, hey, I made a video about not <laughs> putting this specific thing in your butt, and here you are with said specific and here thing. We are. This is this is on me. This is on me. <laughs> um, more, t it's more, more often it's um, it's people that are on the job and different things. Like I went to uh, a local hospital that we go to a lot for uh, more so for like pediatrics. But like if someone just asks to go there, we'll we'll go there. It's not an uncommon spot. Mm -hmm. And uh, we go in just a difficulty breathing patient, no big deal. And uh, we we get him in, and one of the uh, patient care techs walks in. He's like, okay, what's going? You're that guy from TikTok. And I'm just like, huh? I, yeah. So, uh, 120 over 80. Uh, but uh, the, just give him the whole spiel. I'm like, we'll talk later. I don't <laughs> get, get rid of this guy. Yeah. <laughs> You're just going right into the blood pressure. You're like, yeah, I am. Uh, 120 over 80 is his blood pressure. He's got such and such. He's a lipostatin for his cholesterol and blah, 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 blah. Patients, uh, patient transporter from home, located on the floor, playing a difficulty breathing. Please take him. We'll talk. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, difficulty breathing or chest pain is when you just roll your eyes. You're like, okay. 99% of the time, it's nothing. 1%, the guy's having a stroke. <laughs> I have a, we have what's called a, 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 there's a place where like the buses turn around in our town. And uh, at least once a night, we're going to have somebody who's going to come off the bus who's got, you know. Oh, I can't breathe. I can't breathe. They just, it's fine. They just want a warm place for the night, you know? But, yeah. uh, but it's like, oh, man. Oh, yeah, like the homeless guys that ride the bus all day to stay warm, yeah. and then when the buses are done, they go stay yeah. the, get in a bed in the hospital. Basically. Dude, and I had like... a person that faked... Um, I'm trying not to have YouTube. Uh, well, they faked a sexual assault. Nope. So they could get into the hospital and stay overnight. <laughs> And, Much easier ways to do this. <laughs> yeah. Well, then they also stayed at a, at a shelter. And if you're not back at a certain time for the shelter, then they'll kick you out. Like, there's rules <laughs> that you have to follow at this shelter. So then yeah. people don't get taken advantage of. Stuff isn't stolen. It's yeah, not sure. just some walk and walk <laughs> out there. You know, they make sure that none of the yeah. riffraff or the bad issues that happen and some of the other ones happen. Yeah. So, and it's not uncommon. It It's happened enough to where everybody was just like, uh, listen. There's a good chance that this could this could be it. It was like one of my first times, uh, one of my first several months working in that field as a detective, and I was like, oh, "This happens? Like how often?" They're like, <laughs> "Often enough to where you start to realize when it's not a real one, and you kind of know and yep. see between the lines." So I'm there, like you know, trying to figure things out, and I'm you know, I'm obviously, regardless of if we think it's real or not, we go through the steps that if it is, sure. because you know, you obviously want to you know 
unturn every stone yeah. and make sure that everything's taken yeah. care of and you've done the best that you could and then come to the, the final. <laughs> you let the facts make the finalization, yeah. not your presumptions, yeah. right? Exactly right, yeah. And But, it, but that was exactly <clears throat> it. Like, I mean, I she, this person couldn't have been in a more well-lit, well-videotaped, recorded area to state what had happened to her. And oh, literally, man. this person was the only cat walking <laughs> down the, the street there. for like 30 minutes it's during the time. Are... <laughs> yeah, and I'm like, Yo, I got video, and I'm not gonna confront them and be like, "Why'd you lie to me?" I know yeah, why. Yeah. You didn't want to. You don't want to lose your bed at the shelter, but like now you're taking up a I bed. Mean, you get you. Hit, they had a the assault kit put done on them, which is oh, not man. a comfortable kit to be done. Like it's it's kind of invasive. It sucks, yeah, it's pretty but invasive. It, yeah, but it gets us the evidence that we <clears throat> need sometimes for a conviction. Sure. And it's damning evidence if there's if there is any if any is collected mm -hmm. it's damning. Oh, yeah. oh I never slept yeah, with her. It's oddly mm -hmm. weird because weird. your uh, semen was all inside of this person. <laughs> How did you explain that? Uh, I'll take. It's really plea. nice. Of it. it was really nice of you to put your skin under her nails. That's pretty pretty convenient. Yeah, it's strange <laughs> how your uh, pubic hair wound up you know all over her. Strange. Shed like a German shepherd. <laughs> oh my god. But yeah, yeah, that was one of the times where I we had to go through it. You know, somebody wanted a ride and a free, nice place to stay, and then also a note stating that you know, hey, don't kick me out of my homeless shelter, and and it was all nonsense. Like I said, saw yeah. the person walking down the street, nobody around them. That was it, and yeah. they were just decided, eh, well, some of those shelters, man, some of those shelters are wild, <clears throat> especially like the warming shelters, where like the big warming shelters. Man, and you probably have some serious ones up there because Buffalo is not exactly a warm climate. So. Oh yeah, it's called uh, <clears throat> it's called a cold code blue when it gets yeah, below like thirty degrees or something like that. There's yeah. actually buses and collection <clears throat> points for the homeless where really? they will make different stops at the I don't want to say encampments, but at some of the homeless hubs, mm. and be like, "Come on in, we're gonna get you to a warming station." Yeah. Not a lot of homeless in Buffalo just because the cold weather. It's sure. listen, it's not San Diego, man. You can't just live here in pants and a jacket, you know, for yeah, 10 for months sure. out of the year. It gets cold. It's a little brisk. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if you heard. We had a couple uh, storms last year yeah. this year. Yeah. Of significant sure, size. There's probably still snow on the ground from last year. <laughs> Dude, it's... Oh, man. We, we dumped so much snow the one year into, like, parking lots. Or we had this... We used to have a Grand Central Station, like New York City. Okay. And it's on, like, the eastern side of Buffalo. And once, like, train and rail kind of slowed down, it just went vacant. Oh, so it's man. this huge, beautiful mm -hmm. building that has nothing in it and really? tons of parking around it. And, like, it's, 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 it's a super unique building. Unfortunately, it's surrounded by, like, all these dilapidated buildings and crack houses. I don't... Some billionaire <laughs> would have to buy it and just have a hard-on <clears throat> for that building to just want right. to fix it up and make it a business center. Praise, Praise Jesus God. if they do. <clears throat> But anywho, they dumped a bunch of snow there in one of the massive parking lots that they had. And I'm not joking when I say the snow mounds were about 30 feet tall. They're about the size, like over the roof of a two-story building. And oh, it was July. And there was still significant massive mounds. It's wild, isn't it? Yeah. Wild. We, have, you... we have some parking lots that they dump, dump a bunch of snow in, but it's nothing like that. Mm -hmm. It's crazy. Man, we have those, those same types of calls where it's just like... Like how how did how did we arrive at this particular point in our lives? You know, you go. I went through, I went to a warmer shelter once. It was a uh, a woman. She was super sweet. Uh, she drank a bottle of isopropyl alcohol, did like heroin and coke and all these different things. Wait, and she was isopropyl alcohol. Isn't that the one that mm -hmm. like can make you go blind? Mm -hmm. mm hmm. Oh yeah. Drank a bottle of it. Did a whole bunch of drugs. And then in the ambulance, she told me her name and told me that her destination was Jesus. Uh, I was like, ah. Okay. Well, you, well, you are definitely uh, on the right path in order to yeah, see was, faster than most. I was, I was like, maybe uh, hit the skinny pedal a little harder, please. <laughs> <laughs> this woman's gonna. We. Mm. She must be in the bathroom. She's circling the drain. Let's oh, go. Oh my gosh! You want to hear <laughs> EMT story? I got an EMT story for you. Mm. We. Uh, I don't think she shot him. She stabbed. Him. There was a domestic guy, drug dealer, turd of a person. Mm. Beats up his old lady. I think she had a restraining order, order on him. Comes home in the middle, <clears throat> middle of the day. She's like, get out of here. Don't come in here. He gets in the house. He starts screaming at her. He starts hitting on her. 
She grabs a knife. She's like, all right, you're not going to hit me no more. Get away Ooh. from me. Fucking, he comes up. She pokes him. Gets him. He runs out the house, blood trailing up right behind him. Hundreds and fifties and twenties, just a path of money and blood. The great equalizer. And a bunch of crack. Just follow him into the house next door that he lives at or a fan or a fan, a fan, a friend or family member lived in. Yeah. Crack fan. And, <laughs> and he gets in and then he just drops. Right. But she called 911. You know, she did all the right things. She defended herself completely. Nothing wrong with what she did. Right. She defended herself. Calls 911. Sure. We get there and we're like, okay, cool. He's alive. You know, we need an ambulance. Ambulance gets there. EMTs get out and they're looking at the guy and they're like, all right, that sucks. <laughs> uh, like what do you want us to do and you know we're all sitting around and we're kind of like chilling outside the house you know we've got like it secured because if it turns into a homicide we gotta secure yeah. the area plus there's you know drugs <clears throat> and money and, a, and blood and <laughs> we don't know if it's it's if it's a 100 percent total self-defense so we get to save all this evidence that we see here right sure. and then like it's a messy scene yeah it's, it's and it's a big scene too so the EMTs are like come out and they're like, hey, so we're like, what do you want? What do you guys want us to do? This is after like four, four or five minutes of them being here and like nothing. Oh no, they did nothing. Nothing's happening. <laughs> they did nothing. And and I'm, we're like, what do you mean? They're like, he's like, you called us to a DOA. Like, what's the deal? And we're like, no man, he was <laughs> he was talking and breathing before you got here. What are you doing? And they're just like, oh, oh okay. And they just <laughs> zooted back into the building compression like every like, just you oh, just no. it was like mighty mouse it was like zoom, 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 zoom. and they're just <laughs> compressions they're he, he's in the back of the truck and they're flying and just like they're like where do we start the compressions now oh shit he did obviously not make it and yeah it did not sound like uh did not sound like he was compatible with life anymore after that. yeah you know it's 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 pretty bad when the emts yeah. walk over him and they're like why did they bring us to uh. a dead body and he, he, and then, once they started like Sure, are you alive? He's like, ah, please help me. <laughs> <laughs> then they're like, oh shit, oh, we should have no. help you like three minutes ago. You should have said that. Should have said that. <laughs> <laughs> Sir, you need to. We, we were really hoping that there was going to be more signs of life than you just kind of yeah, so... laying motionless. Yeah, we got a couple of rules in here, man. You know, it's like blood goes round and round, air goes in and out. Any deviation from that, you got to do something. You're gonna have a, you're gonna have a bad time. Yeah, you gotta gotta figure that out. Yeah, how was I got called to that scene? And uh, what are you gonna do? Yeah, I mean, even, been a good poke. I mean, even if the EMTs got him, like he he was he was dead in in the car before they even made it to the hospital. Like you, even where he was at, which is a pretty quick like flight to the hospital, mm. caught an artery or something. I, dude, he 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 bled like a stuck bled. pig. Like I remember, there was like a good trail of blood going from the back of her house, going to the up Oof. the driveway and then next door. So that he was take much. Yeah, it doesn't take much. Like you lose what you only got like. Uh, you four liters five, of blood. Really? It's like four and a half mm -hmm. liters of blood. Five. Yeah. Yeah. Hard to keep. Hard to keep all that in. You, know, you got to keep all that stuff in the machine. You know. Mm -hmm. Got to keep that lube in there, baby. That's it, man. It's like that machine that has to that. You know, there, you ever see that machine where it was like uh, scraping its uh, its hydraulic fluid back into itself? Yes. Uh, it's uh, it. that weird after, art project where yeah, it's just like after, pulling the red like blood like yeah, liquid after, back into itself. After a while, man, you don't got that stuff in you. You ain't gonna work. Nope. Got to sop that bad boy up. But we have a lot of different calls where it's like, if you if you deviate from like what you're normally gonna do, if you deviate from like just general procedure, you're just gonna look at it and be like, this guy's probably fine. Yeah, he's probably fine. And then all of a sudden, just boop. You're like, oh, okay. Give me yeah. an example of boop. <clears throat> so, all right. So I've had a had a patient who was complaining um, of severe back pain. It was a female patient complaining of severe back pain. Back, right? Okay. All right. So chest pain and heart issues translate different a lot of times in men and women men don't tend to always have pain in their back but women can have it as they call it right along their bra line right? okay so she said my back just really hurts I'm like okay so we're prepping the ambulance getting her set <coughs> just hits just drops she was walking out yeah she's like i want to walk out made it about 10 feet hit the deck um all of a sudden, she turns. She's just grabbing her chest. We had released medics because it was back pain. Um, medics had fortunately still not left, so they came rushing back in, hooked her up. She was like, "Okay, this is she's got a full blown STEMI." Uh, so What's we, a STEMI? You know, uh, it's heart attack. Wait, wait, why do you call it a STEMI? It's like some sort of so, STEMI so cardiograph or something. So T E M I is the uh, it's 
the initials for what it basically is. It's a ST elevation, myocardial infarction. So STEMI. Yeah. So it's just just a fancy word for a heart attack. Oh, I mean, I totally knew that. I was just doing that for the chat, 100. <laughs> percent Just, I mean, I was, I was, I mean, I was aware. Totally. Just straight up, sh we're on quiz show now. Yeah. <laughs> I have to, have to hit the button. <laughs> boop, boop, boop. But, what uh, is? Yeah, so I, but yeah, so we, we ended up, she was, she ended up being okay. She just right into the cath lab and went right into heart surgery. Now, I don't wow. know how many homicides you've dealt with, but we have like a weird saying, and that's <clears throat> like if the victim of like a gunshot wound is like talking and like, yo, man, I can't believe they got me. This is what happened. He went this way. <clears throat> We're like, he's going to die <laughs> because the ones that are quiet always live. And the ones that are like, I'm going to tell you exactly what happened are, <laughs> I don't know what it is. I've, I have not, so I've not dealt with a homicide. I have dealt with somebody who was at that range I was telling you about that shot themselves. And uh, that person actually survived. We were able to take care of that person. Like um, they shot themselves intentionally? Oh yeah, oh yeah. Dude, my- Under under the chin. And he lifted his head and it came out of his mouth. My, uh, my buddy who's a police officer in an adjoining <clears throat> town told me a story one time of how <clears throat> somebody took a shotgun and decided they were going to end it. And all they did was just shoot off the front of their face and they get in there and it's, you know, it, a shotgun suicide is a mess. It is a, mm -hmm. it's a horrible thing. One, don't commit suicide people. It's a bad thing. <laughs> uh, but definitely don't do it with a shotgun because you will have a closed casket mm -hmm. and the mess that your family has to clean up. Oh my God. So they yeah, get in there and they see this guy <clears throat> and he's sitting down in his favorite chair and he's, you know, dead. And they're like, mm -hmm. oh, but this <clears throat> is a mess. And then all of a sudden they shine a flashlight on his eye. And his optical nerves must have still been working and firing. Because oh, no. all of a sudden he was like. <laughs> and they're like, oh, jeez. <gasps> yeah, he's back. Jesus, zombies. <clears throat> so he uh, he ended up getting rushed to the hospital. I don't know how long he survived for. I think I think the full story with that was. He had a like a terminal illness, and mm. just decided that he wasn't gonna live with the illness, and then that this was it. make it quick. And unfortunately, he did not make it quick. I don't know how many nerves are in the face, but there's enough to hurt. <laughs> at least one. And there's at least one. <laughs> there's one. There's one nerve, or two nerves, or three nerves in your teeth. You ever have a toothache? Multiply that by your whole face. Yeah, just just put that one little eh, and put it <laughs> right, right around here, right around that whole thing right there. <laughs> Fuck. No, thank you. No, thank you. Damn it. You know, tis tis the way of the job. You know. That's Fortunately, true. most of the stuff that we go to is, um, you know, knock on wood, usually very manageable. You yeah. Know, every so often we'll have, um, and we also have good preventative stuff in town. We have a lot of, um, a lot of information that we disseminate through the town to make sure that people know. Say, hey, you know, go get your checkups. Go get your. If you're a male, go get these checkups. If you're a female, go get these checkups. If you're a child, go get these. You know, if your if your child has, you know, like um, like a really bad cough and it's something that you're concerned about, take them to the hospital. Just take them to the hospital. You have insurance, use it. Take them to the hospital. You know? Yeah. And uh, it usually ends up really well in the community. We we have a big, um, big push for that, and so does fire. Our fire department has a big push with that too. Um, so fortunately, a lot of our stuff is more preventative maintenance. <clears throat> but that's good. I mean, yeah. it's preventative for a reason, right? You're preventing yeah. something bigger from happening down the line yeah. where now instead of, oh, we've got time, we can check this out. You do it on your own. You catch it before it becomes an issue. When you're there, there is an issue. Yeah. Significant, significant enough for 911 yeah. to be called. Yeah, we get a lot. Of, the, the big one that we get a lot of is like the 3 a.m., you know, elderly male or elderly female that needed to go to the bathroom but you can't go to the bathroom in the bathroom that's on your floor you know you got to go down the stairs to the bathroom that you prefer it's and just you know, well, you can't poop down... upstairs because you're gonna wake up your wife and she's 70 yeah. and you don't want to hear her <laughs> bitch at you because you got a stink ass old man poop yeah. those are the worst smelly poops she told you not to eat the taco bell and you did it anyway so have you ever had Never. to like kick in a door of a home because they've been like hey like a check the welfare <laughs> like hey we we haven't seen grandma in like four weeks and normally she's here like every other day. Can you check on her? So I don't, I don't boot doors. I have, you know, I have, I have people. For yeah. You, you, you us. Know? Yeah. The, fucking, yeah. <laughs> the big, the big got, dumb ones that only took a civil service exam. Yeah. Us. Right. Yeah. If, we, if, if PD can't get in, I'll have someone to Halligan take care of it. Call it a day. Yeah. But there's, there's been times where we haven't been able to gain access. I actually have a video 
about that too, about different ways that you can make sure that fire department or PD can gain access, whether it's with a knockbox on your on your bed, on your railing, or if you hide a key, which I don't always recommend, or if you have one of those electronic locks, uh, a key with the neighbor. Our department, our, our PD, we actually have a, like I said, it's not, not a very large department. We actually have what looks like a card catalog, and we actually have keys on file. So you can actually bring your key to the police department, leave it on file. We had a, so, an, an elderly woman, her friends, <clears throat> friends or family, it might've been her family, it was like grandma calls us like every day. She hasn't called us for like two or three days. And this family member mm -hmm. was like out of town, like Kansas, some weird state. And at the time I was a lieutenant for all of my like three months that I was a, I was a boss. <laughs> and my guys go there and they're like, it smells bad. Like oh, no. we're, <laughs> we're knocking on the door. It was in a, an elderly housing project, which is very, it's a very nice housing project. Mm -hmm. And it, because it's all elderly, so you don't really have any of the riffraff. You know, if the young kids start moving in and trying to sell out a grandma's apartment, you know, all the other people know, <laughs> you know, and you're like, why are there, like, a whole bunch of crackheads around the old folks? Oh, God. And then you just <laughs> sit there and start arresting them as they come out, you know, like. There it is, pipes. one at a time. <laughs> so we, you know, the, the one young guy is, like, knocking on the door. And he's like, dude, I can smell it. It smells like a dead body. And I go, listen, there's, he's like, they're looking at, you know, you as a lieutenant, especially if they're young new on the job to like for guidance like do i kick in the door like what do i do i don't want to get in trouble because now every day even you're doing even yep. if you're doing the good samaritan thing people want to get drop cops in trouble right absolutely like why you kick in my door i was fine like man we didn't know you were fine somebody called yeah. said you might have been dead yeah. so it was one of those things where you know i get looked at by the younger guys and they're like what do we do lieutenant and i go there's no wrong answer to kicking in this door right now. Either we kick it in and she's fine or we kick it in and she's dead. And we would have had to do that anyway because it's a housing mm -hmm. project. So yep. we get the guys with the Halligans are there and they've got this amazing door breaching tool, which is literally just a hydraulic piston that they put oh. in the middle of the frame. And it just stretches out the middle of the frame. It doesn't matter if it's a deadbolt or not. It just stretches it enough. And then you can just push in the door as if it was huh. unlocked. Fancy. Grandma was on the ground. She'd Oof. been sitting there for three or four days, fell over, couldn't get up, alive. Thank God. We just smelt like, because unfortunately, you know, you're there for three days, you relieve yourself. Yeah, absolutely. And so she had, you know, unfortunate, but we don't <clears throat> give a shit. We've, yeah. we've dealt with 10 times worse stuff than that. Yeah, we're, we're just happy we're just she's happy. alive. Yeah, we're happy. Your eyes are open. Yeah, she's like, hi. Yeah. We're like, we're here for you. Can you feed boots for me, please? Right. You know what I got to do is I should I got to write that kid up for an award. Is I mean, if it wasn't for him, you know, just doing the right thing and not leaving, then that mm. poor woman could have been stuck there. I mean, yeah. we're knocking on the door, kicking on the door. We don't hear anything, which is strange. You know, you'd think that she would have been even just something loud enough, but she's probably, I wouldn't doubt it, after two or three days, so dehydrated. She was so soft-spoken yeah. when we went to go see her in Albert. She's probably super gassed at that point. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I gotta write that kid up for an award. I'm glad that I actually said that story because now I gotta write them up. We had a, we had a call. The fire department. It was a mutual aid call, and the fire department actually went to this house because they got a call for what they were told was a possible runaway boiler. So, what's a fire runaway boiler? Is that when it just it just starts yeah, cooking off, and now it's that yeah, like 300 yeah, degrees, 800 degrees, and now it's a pressure bomb? Yeah, it, can't, it won't shut off. Fire department won't show up. They'll usually shut the gas off or. Whatever, whatever the fire department does, I don't know. <laughs> but they, <laughs> they show up, and uh, I don't know. <laughs> they show up, and we get a we get a call, and I'm, we're two towns over, and we get a mutual aid call, and we had heard this call come in because we have you know, obviously the radios are all set up, and we're like they, the fire department just went there for a runaway boiler. I'm like, did the freaking explode? Like what happened? Um, and it was for. It was the call was for a man down. I'm like, oh my God, one of these firemen got hurt. Oh my God. Oh man. I'm flying down there. We get over to the house. We get there. It's an elderly couple that only speaks Portuguese. Right? And so we waited on an officer who spoke Portuguese to come in from that town. That's an oddly specific yeah. language. Yeah. And they, it's an elderly woman and an elderly male. The male is on the ground and had been there for two weeks. Had been on the ground for two weeks. This woman had been changing his diaper, had him laid down on Shay's lounge couch cushions. She couldn't pick him up off the ground. And she had nobody to call. And she didn't call anybody. Wait, wait. Say, uh, say this again. <clears throat> yep. There's yep. a man that's too old or too big? Too old. He's too old. He, yeah, he and so she, they're, both, they're both old. They're both old. Get him off the ground. Mm -hmm. And yep, so then she, she, 
he falls down, and then she just decided, I'm just going to take care of you while you're on the ground? Yeah, she just left him on the ground. He's like, don't touch me. I'll be fine. Never. He did, didn't get up. She put Shay's lounge chairs underneath, cushions underneath him. We show up. We're like, what's going on? And the fire department's like, we came here for a boiler. This is what we saw. I was like, um, I'm happy you called us. <laughs> so we just thought we just threw a blanket down, tossed him out of Reeves, took him to the hospital. Figured Bro, out what? what? What a stubborn old man thing to do. Hey, just screw it. I'll just be here. I'm going to die soon here. anyway. <laughs> just leave me here, Lorelei. <laughs> Wipe my ass and jerk me off and let, just turn the TV to face me. Change, I'll be fine. Changed his diaper a whole bunch of times during the course of the day. Fed him on the floor. He just stay on, he's watching TV on the floor. You know what? You probably up. fed him. Factor. Today's spot. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> for those of you who don't know, he was giving me shit for having a fucking <laughs> ad in my angry meme review today. Rightfully so. It was it was a good jab. It was a good jab. Not mad at it at all. I don't know. I don't know if you know, but they uh, they can custom to any diet that you have. Shut be up. It, <laughs> be, it, be it high protein, low carb, or keto. Dude, are you reading like something off of an ad right now? Have you seen one that that many times? <laughs> no, no, that was the first one I saw. <laughs> I just, oh, that's just what stuck in my head. But uh, you know, make sure you get your vitamin to Vegemite or whatever it was. Vegemite. Yeah, get your Vegemite one. It's for the Australians. <laughs> oh, the chat's giggling at the. At the people sitting on the porches and all, all the 911 stories and Dale and Feld saying his three-letter agency is WTF to the guy that's <laughs> just that's sitting it. in a chaise lounge cushion, just yeah, getting his butt it. wiped by his wife. If you, I mean, it's that's wild. love right there. She, love. That woman. <clears throat> yeah, there was a long time. He was down for a long time. Yeah, you see some wild stuff. And like I said, that's, that's a bigger town that I had responded to. Yeah. But wasn't expecting that. <laughs> Oh my god! Josh chewing after my shoes. Of course. <laughs> have you, but, ever, yeah. you ever have any? You ever have to like uh, fight any homeless? Guy? Let me. Oh, you know what? I got a question. There's a question I wanted to ask you. Right? I have. Mm. I have some opinions about. Mm. Um. Jeez, what are they called? It, it's not like it's not like legal drug use centers, but needle exchange programs, right? Mm. And like suboxone clinics. Mm -hmm. What are your what are your feelings on them? And I'll, I'll give you a scapegoat, right? I'll be the bad guy. I'm the bad guy here. All right. So let me be the bad guy. You can tell me how some of my things <clears throat> might be right to a dumb, dumb, jerky face man and how some of them might be wrong because I'm a heartless piece of shit. Right. <laughs> so I've yeah. noticed that if you if you put up a suboxone clinic, a needle exchange is a little different. But if you put up a needle exchange in a suboxone clinic. You're having addicts go in there. <clears throat> you're all, you're almost ruining a neighborhood, or at least you're kind of ruining a straight line and the houses that are along that line to a dope house where they yep. just, hey, here's my Suboxone. I want heroin. And then the drug dealer gives them some, you know, some heroin for a larger amount of <clears throat> Suboxone. So then they, you know, now they're making money on some for, for mm -hmm. in that trade, you know, getting more Suboxone okay. cash wise than they would selling the heroin and now they're selling heroin and suboxone and people can can abuse suboxone true which so it, and I, i've got one if there's a couple but i got one super particular <laughs> in my mind in my city right now where literally they'll go to the suboxone methadone clinic get needles get suboxone methadone etc get all the caps get the little cotton balls so then they can shoot up get some sterilized water the, I forget what it is. Is it called sterilized water? It's like injectable water. Uh, saline. Sa saline. Is it just saline? <clears throat> mm -hmm. So it's saline solution. So they can mix it up and shoot it. And then they just, they literally walk down 200 yards, if that, to this apartment building that sells heroin and whatever you want out of like three different floors. Because it's so hard to get a warrant for floor, you know, for room 101. When they've got a pipeline that goes up to 302 and then they also own 305 they just walk down the hallway every time they see cops show up so it's you. like it's the most frustrating thing ever where i will watch literally people get in their car drive 200 yards park it get out trade suboxone for heroin or just go there and buy suboxone and then sit down in their car and be like all right well i've got all the shit from the the the, the free the clinic. clinic over there mm-hmm what, what, what are your opinions on this? And I'm not saying so, that you have to hate all of them or anything like that. Yeah, no, so That's it's, my it's frustration. A definite, uh, it's a definite mixed bag, right? Because the concept of these clinics 
is not supposed to necessarily be to give you clean needles and give you all that. It's supposed to be to give you clean needles, but it's also supposed to be an outlet for you to be able to enter yourself into a rehabilitation type situation. So these people are supposed to be giving you pamphlets and ways to get into rehab and all these different things. Whether these clinics are doing that properly, I, I don't really know. Yeah, that's that's um, the issue that I have with this one specific clinic is I think it's a whole bunch of tree huggers where they're just like, I just want you to be safe when you ruin the neighborhood. And that's that's rough, right? Like, on one hand, I get it. You want, if, if they're going to do it, be as safe as you can about it, and they're not going to stop. And I... I I get. I guess I get that angle of it. I mean, I I um, get it too. Like I'm not a heartless yeah, turd. Yeah. If if I like, give you a safe place <clears throat> to do it, to where it's a healthier environment, you're not gonna get bloodborne diseases, right? From just using dirty needles, right. which and if we want to be heartless but also smart about it, which is gonna be a huger burden, a larger burden <clears throat> on the community because now you've got people that are sick flowing around giving you getting you sick. Mm -hmm. You got dirty needles all over on the ground. And then you've got these people that are, you know, getting brought into the hospital, costing how much money, you know, tying up the ambulance, tying up emergency mm -hmm. rooms. And so now normal people that need the help that, you know, it, it's tying up all of this medical, I guess, assistance that the community would, should be able to access. But they can't because there's all this dirty shit going on on something that you're never going to stop. Because as long yeah. as there's a drug, there's somebody that's going to use it. It's true. And it's, it's a real tough mixed bag because you... It, the, the concept of getting that, it, you can use this as a good middle ground to fix. It's 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 a small band-aid on a bigger problem. Like that's not going to fix yeah. anything specifically. You know, you you need to have the people want to end that part of their 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 routine. You know, it's 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 really difficult to get people to want to go to rehab um, because they'll they're like, oh, I failed rehab five times. I'm not going back. You know, it's it's tough. Yeah. You know, it's not, uh, it's, it's an, it's not an end to, to a problem. It's, it's one of many, many things that you could probably do to get the problem started, get the process started. But there's so many more things that would have to get done if you wanted to even come close to making a, a dent into any type of drug ep epidemic. So. That's true. Yeah, it's not going to get you there. Not by itself. It's, you know, Pat least... McNeely in the chat says that he remembers when Jersey legalized weed. And two days later, somebody called 911 saying they overdosed on weed brownies. And then I he almost to, fell out of his chair laughing. Was that a thing? Was it like in the news? Uh, I, went to a, I went to a house with a guy who, it was like 2 o'clock in the morning, he was sitting on the curb outside his house, and he was having just a massive panic attack. Massive, massive panic attack. And we're like, what happened? He goes, I, I, I ate the gummies. I ate some gummies. I, I, all, I, all, I did was, all I did was eat some gummies. I just, ate some gum I just would not stop. I ate gummies. I ate some gum, and I'm just like, oh my god, this dude just ate an edible, and it's freaking out, and he's doing this at two o'clock in the morning. Like, come on, my guy. Dude, just turn on Adult Swim and relax. <laughs> I was like, just kick back. But yeah, I mean, some people definitely, uh, definitely get the old, the old jitters from it, I guess, and they don't know how to handle it. I had a girl who uh, ate a. Uh, I didn't know this was a thing, but apparently you could buy chocolate bars that had mushrooms in it. I yeah, know that was a thing. Well, I had no idea that was a thing. I'm told mushrooms taste like shit. So people will try <laughs> to disguise the flavor by putting it in some sort of chocolate or a tea, some other yeah, things. Was, this girl was just tripping her face off. Um, she, I guess you're supposed to eat like these little squares of it. She ate like half this chocolate bar. She was bouncing off the walls. I'm like, oh, this is fantastic. She kept telling me that I can see the golden gates. You know, like, oh. Seriously, she was she was like, I could I could taste colors. I was losing her mind. And I'm like, she's like, here, talk to my grandmother. Talk to my grandmother. Just talk to her. I pick up the phone. It's like her best friend. She's like, I don't know why she keeps calling me a grandmother. I don't know what's going on. She sees you as a motherly figure. <laughs> it's a compliment. I actually just ended up having her again for something a little bit different. <laughs> can you say what it was or no? Uh, not this time. No, she she said that it was some sort of weird thing that her friend gave her, but I was like. Oh. Oh, another like drug thing where it's like whatever. Yeah, she's like, I don't want to tell anybody. It's like, all right, that's fine. You don't have to tell me anything. We are, we're, we're already at the sweet. hospital. You can tell them your secrets. <laughs> yeah, we'll just yeah, they'll get, do a blood draw and then they'll figure it out themselves. You say it won't be hard. Promise. Yeah, I got <laughs> Dalen Feld, who's just killing it today. He's asking all these good questions. He's like, he goes, can people abuse it though? And I assume he's talking about like Suboxone and like the methadone. Oh, yeah. Can you like? It's been a while since I've actually asked somebody this, and I know it can be abused. How does it get abused? Do you, are you able to like open like, it, it it doesn't it doesn't get abused any different than any other drug it's just that they're all how they're do you all, get high oh, on something that's t supposed to prevent you from getting high off of heroin though like that's what get, i don't get with get, suboxone you get, high, you get high off the methadone you get high off the suboxone 
What is is it like a, a similar high to heroin? It's a it's a lighter one, but you can definitely OD on it. You can OD on methadone mm-hmm. and Suboxone. Uh, Suboxone, I think you can. Yeah, Suboxone, I think has Narcan in it, if I'm not mistaken. Maybe so you can OD on a that. thing that blocks the inhibitors or in uh, the uh, inhibitors inhibits your uh, inhibitors, uh, whatever that. It, well, it's it's meant to. <laughs> it says as soon as I type in Suboxone, it's like help is available. <laughs> no Google. I'm trying to score some. Uh, yeah, so it does it does contain it. Um so I'm like I, I imagine it would be more difficult to. But yeah, it's it's none of that's none of it's good stuff for you. It's just less bad, you know? That makes sense. That that's you know what, that's a really good way of putting it. It's not that it's good for you, it's just less yeah. bad. And kind of like we talked about a couple minutes ago, it's supposed to be the start. Or yeah. to, to or a, a stepping stone. A stepping stone. There you go. To you eventually quitting. Yeah. But yeah, naloxone. I have a couple of friends who are uh, are drug counselors and drug social workers, and yeah, they have a lot of a lot of issues with these things. Yeah, but it's supposed actually, to block like your receptors to the, the naloxone does. It blocks your opioid receptors to. So then, what does the suboxone and naloxone do? It just doesn't allow you to get high, doesn't it? it? It's it's supposed to it's supposed to curb you overdosing. But I mean, if you take them metric ton of it you know that's not gonna be a good day for you yeah <clears throat> oh my gosh we had a woman overdose in her house and then they narcaned her and it was a stereotypical she was upset that we raced wasted her high and she didn't want to go to the hospital because she's just gonna get high again and we were I was, it was the first time where i've ever dealt with somebody that was so vehement vehemently opposed to getting narcaned and going to the hospital because she was to- she was almost turning blue <laughs> you know, and we dumped, they dumped like a lot of naloxone. They gave her like three hits of it. And like the first one did not, the first, the first one was like, whew, nothing. <laughs> just, she was like, nope, still, still ODing. Do, 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 do. I'm just having a good time here. Yeah. And it, but it was the first time, and I've been on the job for 12 years where I've, somebody was so upset. You hear about it, right? Oh, just, you know, those druggies, they get upset screaming. when you give them Narcan because you ruin yep. their high. And I'm like, you do. okay. <laughs> Like, I'm sure that's a, a little bit sure. Okay, whatever. I never seen yeah, they it. Yeah, super annoyed. I've been swung at. So it's, yeah, really? It's not good. Oh, yeah. yeah. I've been headbutted. Get when I was vent- out. When I was, I was venting somebody and they just, Whoa! and they just jerked straight up. Oh. Yeah. Right here. Forehead to forehead. Ooh, that's a good clack. Mm-hmm. Felt, it was that, it was that you know, that, that yep. solid sound. Did not feel good. Ugh. The other day I walked upstairs in uh, my crack house and I've got like a low hanging ceiling. Like when you go up to the stairs and I forgot to lower my head and I hit the top, the very crown of my head, Uh, full blown walking up a stair. And I, I was so angry, but I couldn't be angry at anybody other than myself, (laughs) which is the worst anger you can feel because you can only point it right back at yourself. Oh, it hurts so bad. I was sitting there holding my head, rubbing it, just trying to make the pain go away for like 30 seconds. Solid minute. I was my head was just throbbing. I made a, a video about that about uh about people saying that you know they didn't take anything. I didn't take anything. And it was it was like I like you, man. You lie a lot. Actually, I think I have. I just, <laughs> I like I just you, reposted. You lie that a time. lot. You're handsome. You I didn't take anything. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think I found it. I don't know how well you'll be able to see this, but uh, about here. I got it from my doodle. I won't be able to see it, but I like you, man. You lie a lot. I got it from my doodle. <laughs> Just they like you, man. You lie a lot. Oh man. We have we have a good joke about uh about PD when they narcan people who aren't overdosing. Oh bro. <laughs> bro. It had dude diabetics. They, they're diabetics, just unconscious. And you're just like better narcan them. Oh, it looks the same. It's it's very similar. It's, it's super it's similar. It's super similar. Yes. What's your it's joke about it? Just just that will do it? Like I, I, I made a video. I actually got a lot of backlash from it because so many people were like, "Oh, you can't hurt anybody with naloxone." Like, mm. well, I mean, with like the one <laughs> shot, yeah, you really yeah. can't. But it was like uh, me after uh, me. It was like me walking into uh, a scene with five Narcans around my diabetic patient, and it was like that. Uh, I like that like, video. I know exactly. Like, my hands like, you look so dumb right <laughs> now. now. <laughs> yes, yes. That was, I loved it. I thought it was great because, dude, when when. Like, I love cops. Like, I am, I are one. And, I, I are them. And we sometimes, <laughs> like, regardless of, you know, good ones, bad ones, whatever, we, we're trying to do the best that we can with limited amounts of information. And mm-hmm. sometimes we just don't know 
but Sometimes we're there and we have to make a decision because you called us. Mm -hmm. So we go, what could this kind of be? Pop and them. then we move forward in that direction until we get some sort of response and then we'll go somewhere else if it's the wrong yeah. one. And dude, the amount of times that like I've seen, you know, guys be like, <laughs> I don't know, man. I just narcan them because they were on, just on the ground. I'm like, man, better safe than sorry. Yeah. Where's the fireman? You know, and then we just wait for the fireman to come by and be like, check, hook check up, the eye. Yeah, hook up the thing with the lines on it and see if their brain waves are good to go. <laughs> how do you make how do you make this do this? That's yes, all I, I need to make the boop, boop. It's doing the <laughs> thing right now. I tell them, I'm like, just check the eyes, check the eyeballs. If they tiny, pop them, pop away. <laughs> Oh, like the the pupils that they got the little tiny pupils, just <laughs> give it to them right away. <laughs> oh, dude, I tell you, getting people real to trick. go. If the real we have trick. to Narcan you, like you don't have a choice. You have to go to the hospital, right? The second it's which I understand, right? You just gave somebody a drug, regardless of if you're gonna be fine because you know it, it's you're not high and it wasn't the appropriate action. We have to make sure because we're legal, we're you know somewhat liable, I would assume, for your health. So this one time I had this guy and, and he OD'd, he was ODing. And we all want to say he was ODing, but he was like slumped over in his car. Somebody mm -hmm. called and said that he was high. And so one of the young guys was like, I don't want to wait forever. Like the sternum rub wasn't really kicking in. He's like, we, I mm -hmm. kind of think, we, I was like, just do it. Just Narcan him. See what happens. Was Comes back. Gets more Narcan from fireman. Now he's with it. He's like, hey, what's going on? So we're like, dude, listen, <clears> you were high. They narcan you, blah, blah, you know, and I'm sitting to the side, just letting, you know, the younger guys like do their thing, making sure everybody's okay. Everybody's learning. Everybody's <laughs> learning. It's a, it's a learning and growing experience. Yeah. <laughs> they're doing a good job. So I'm like, okay, cool. And then, well, then this guy starts arguing with him and the fireman. He's like, no, I'm not going to go to the hospital. I'm fine. Like, I'm not going to go to the hospital. <laughs> and then I had to go over there like big brother. And I, I, put, I put my hand on top of the car and I'm <laughs> talking to him and I'm like, here's the deal, bud. <laughs> Jimmy. <laughs> yeah, like, James, here's the deal. My name is Steven. Jimmy, listen. <laughs> I was like, here's the deal, dude. We gave you a drug. We gave it to you because you were high. I, mean, I don't care. You do you, man. I'm not judging you. I go, but you now have to go to the hospital. We gave you a drug, brought you back. You have to go to the hospital. There's two ways you're going to go. Present. Either I'm going to make you go and you're going to be there for a long time mm. or you're going to check yourself in. And then you can get out and be good the second that they take the little beep boop boop things off of you. All right. Now, what do you want to do? Do you want me to make you go and waste half your day? Or do you want to go on your own? I was like, and he's like, well, I really well. I was like, no, 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 no. You have your choice, right? Three, two, one, make a choice. And he's just like, I'll go on my own. Okay. Want to go for two or do you want to go for 72? The choice is up to you, my friend. Dude, <laughs> you know, it's like, please, please stop and let me help you. It's just, mm -hmm. ah. Yeah, it's wild. It's it's absolutely wild. Sometimes you just people are their own worst enemy. People are their absolute own worst enemy. Oh yeah. Yeah. Worst thing. I always say that uh, humans are the worst kind of people. <laughs> <laughs> Dude. Oh, you know what? Dude, you know what's funny is um, I don't know if you, you know Brandon Herrera, the AK guy. Sure, sure, sure. Okay, so he's he's getting some shit about humans are the worst kind of people, right? He so he's <clears> running <throat> for Congress, and vote for Brandon. By the way, early voting is up now. <laughs> and he's running against this this dude who's a veteran and like not a big he's in Texas and uh <clears throat> the area that he's running for, the district, is like two thirds of the southern border of Texas. Oh, right. Geez. So there's like all these issues and shit like that. And so they're going back and forth and Brandon's like, I feel this way, and this guy's like, Well, I feel this way too, but I didn't vote that way. And Brandon's like, Well, that's I'm gonna call you out on that. Blah blah blah. Politics, <laughs> right? Well, Brandon being Brandon, you know, we all make jokes on these, you know, live streams and podcasts because we're normal uh -oh. <laughs> people. We're not robots. You know, we're not bought by some Pfizer or whatever. And we have talking points that we can't, mm -hmm. you know, just uh, uh, angle away from. Mm -hmm. And and so this guy like puts out a hit piece on Brandon. He's like, Brandon Herrera hates veterans because he made a suicide <laughs> joke. And I responded oh, no. to him and I was like, dude, if you don't get dark humor, you're not a veteran. I don't care yeah, where not. you served. If you, you're telling me your time in the army, dude, mm -hmm. that y y you never made a suicide joke. Get no out jokes. Of no jokes allowed. Right. No jokes, on, no jokes off limits. <laughs> and like Brandon cops, you and EMT and dispatcher. Yeah. If dark humor is just how we get through the day. Yeah. It's, it's my morning coffee. Yeah. If you don't <laughs> want the emo click to come back again, that whole phase. 
you better let us make dark jokes. Otherwise, <laughs> I'm going to start getting jet black bangs over my head and wearing black eyeliner, screaming, how could you do this to me? <laughs> Simple plan is coming back. If you don't Come let us make jokes. Oh. Gosh darn it. Where's my skateboard? You're right. I'm about to <laughs> kickflip out of here. You don't understand. Seriously. Where's my Jenko the... jeans? Oh, my God. The Jenkos. They don't, they, they don't know. They don't, they don't know, know. The these kids these days. They don't know. These kids, they don't know the Jenkos. Motorola Razor was the hottest phone mm -hmm. when it came out. The Bust out my sidekick. Oh, oh, the sidekick. Yeah, the T-Mobile oh, sidekick. My... <laughs> All the celebrities had that. Mm -hmm. I loved Either... it because you actually had a pad that you could hit the buttons and feel them on. Loved my sidekick. Tactile keyboards, man. Oh, Back they, in the day. They were great. These guys, these guys don't know about tactile keyboards. They got tact nothing. They Back got... in my day, they got we tech. could feel our keyboards. Yeah, we could feel the bumps and the ridges. Blind mm -hmm. person, there's little bumps on them, just like your normal keyboard. So we used to have blackberries. Oh, blackberries little Johnny were... used to go swimming in the swimming in the water and hole. Oh, dude, the, I've I've killed, I think four phones mm -hmm. when I was like growing up, uh, early twenties, late teens. I probably killed like four phones mm -hmm. over the course of a couple of years by putting it in my swim trunks and forgetting oh, no. to take them out before I went into the water. Now, like, everything's waterproof. You can take an iPhone and throw it into a pool, yeah. and if it doesn't hit the bottom of it, you're fine. It's waterproof. Yeah. But Absolutely. to a point. Yeah, I mean, I, I think I if I go upstairs into one of my, like, old-time bins, I think I still have my old Nokia. You can freaking... <sighs> you, the, you can you can knock a door down with that thing. Nokia and I think G-Shock teamed up one time, oh and, my God. I, and they made a phone. Just in case you need to throw it through a warehouse? Like, Dude, <laughs> my buddy had two Jesus. of them. He would intentionally, dude, his favorite bar trick was he would take his phone and, you know, brag about how it was indestructible and waterproof, mm -hmm. drop it in a pitcher of beer, and then have people call his phone. It was, it would, dude, it was the best bar trick ever. Shout dude, out to you, a, Joe. It was dude, the best. Was galaxy. <laughs> it was so great. It was shit at taking photos. It was, you know, flip phone, but it was, it, but it was amazing. Oh, he'd pick it up and he'd throw it down the street. Just didn't oh, give man. a shit. I think he went through like, Three or four of them, because they're so indestructible. My, uh, if they ever broke, that he could just turn it in and be like, "Hey, your, your, your phone thing, broke. What? I don't know happened. <laughs> your your thing that isn't supposed to break broke." But yeah, yeah, I, I can't see, tell you. Do that with my uh, my next tells with the with the. Burp. You know, we used to be able to do that with those. My father <laughs> had one of those. It was, I thought it was, it was the coolest thing in the world. It was a walkie talkie phone. phone. Oh yeah, best phone, awesome phone. If I if I could have a next tell right now, I would one hundred percent have a next tell. I don't know. I don't know if I can go back anymore. 100%. And I would, I would save all my social media stuff for when I got home. I wouldn't have to worry about all the other garbage. I could just be like, uh, I wonder what Ryan's up to. What are you doing? <laughs> Dude, grown-ass men, there should be there should be an app for that. If there isn't an app, we need to get together and become millionaires. Just it's so on you your can. Apple Watch. Is it, can an Apple Watch do it? There's, there's walkie-talkie on your Apple Watch. I can't get it to work. Don't get me wrong. Mine doesn't work for anything. But it's there. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I would love that. I Guys are playing Call of Duty. Who's in? <laughs> Dude, I would I'd be 15 all over again. Mm, worth it. If I it works for absolutely nobody. None of my contacts are able to get my message. But, you know, at least, at least it's there. I mean, I'm looking at chat and this and poor Jack Monroe is a new deputy and he just goes, Any tips or recommendations? For like what, for Jack? What? First of all, here's a tip, Jack. All right, let's be specific when we ask questions. You're not gonna go <laughs> to some crime scene and be like, what happened? Just, come on. There's a guy bleeding on the ground and somebody's running away with a knife. You know exactly what happened. Be specific. There's a, there's a tip for you. What, what, you know what, what is a good tip? Sure change for... your resolution settings. <laughs> Put your phone on vibrate. Otherwise, it's always going to blow up. Your group Does chats. still use ringers? I, I, it, it drives me crazy when people's ringtones go off. Am I just the only one? I've, I don't think my phone has been on ring since I've gotten a phone. Dude, I... <laughs> My phone was always on silent. It was always on, you know, vibrate, you know, and whatever. And I get these ghost feelings in mm. my leg where I think it's vibrating and it's not. You know, it's just like sliding and moving around yep, my yep. pants. But I'm now saying. that I'm, you know, I'm a detective and I got a work phone. Uh, I got it whenever I'm on duty, I've got to turn it on because yeah, I don't know who's calling me. I don't use my desk phone at all. I ever, <laughs> ever. I don't even know the number for it. You want to leave? <laughs> just vote. Dude, the voicemail on my desk phone is to like the guy two detectives before me oh, no. where I got his desk. And I never use it. I'm like, I want, every, yeah, I want everybody's phone, everybody's phone number tracked. 
I want that. I want to know when they called, when they hung up. I want every text message there, so that nobody can be like, "He sent me a dick pic. Fire him." Uh uh-uh, uh <laughs> not this guy. Uh-uh. You must no, have no, me no. confused. Here's my phone. <laughs> like a Power Ranger, I'm like, "Here's my phone." Take submitted, it. submitted, <laughs> submitted for the approval of the Midnight Society. Yes. Oh, why do I know the Midnight Society? Isn't that oh, yeah, the? You know. Are you afraid you of know. the dark? Yeah, bro, you brought up a banger. Oh my God, bring me <laughs> back, bring me back to high school, dude. Just take the take the powder and toss it on and the, the flame goes blue, and then you zoom in on it, and then it's there's so the story. <laughs> I'm trying to think of some actual nice things for Jack, the new brand new deputy, to get. Um, you want to get a big cuff key because mm. the small ones are garbage. It's a nice. It's nice to have as a backup on your keychain in case you lose them, because you will. But you want a big one. Uh, get a good pair of asp cuffs because they've got the locks on both sides, and then you don't have to like. It, dude, the hinge cuffs are garbage. I think hinge cuffs are only for like yeah. if you're in a county jail and then you want to super control somebody. <clears throat> you're wrestling with the dude on the ground, which will happen. You, those shackle cuffs that just fold, garbage, garbage. What do you think a young cop should know on the streets as an EMT and dispatcher? How to talk on the radio? That'd be lovely. Speak clearly. Oh. Speak slowly. Speak with intent. Speak into your microphone. Dude, and I... That's all, all that's huge. I'll have guys, and I'll look at them, <clears throat> and I'll hear them over the radio, and they're like, radio, we got something, something, something. Uh, I'm like, uh, uh, <laughs> dude, speak up. You're not cool. <clears throat> Stop mumbling. It's not sexy. Just speak into it. What's good about our department is our we have a dispatcher per per tour. So like I don't I don't work technically speaking with other tours. I work with my guys. Well, your own guys, so you know all yeah. their voices. So so I I understand them very clearly now. But when I go to another tour, gets a little gets a little rough sometimes. You yeah. Know? You're saying you use ten like, codes? Not a lot of them. We we have a couple of our own codes. We have a couple of ten codes. Some things we don't use codes for at all. Um, we our department's pretty big on plain language. Same. Um, but uh, we have we've we have like abbreviated ten codes, uh, and now we have some of our own codes. Um, this guy's a sixty nine. He's a real fucker. <laughs> he owes you one. <laughs> <laughs> but we don't we don't use too many ten codes. Our that my EMS department, their PD uses more ten codes. But conveniently enough, I don't know their ten codes. So mm. I know. Go here. <laughs> yeah, right? That That's our stuff. Hey, here's this guy. He's got a date of birth this. <clears throat> Let me know if he's got a warrant. Beep. Yeah. yeah. Uh, hey, dude. Car number such and such. He's got a warrant. Man, and you're like, NCIC oh, dude, came... you got a warrant. You hear that? And they're like, yeah. The NCIC came back. Uh, is your, your mic secure? <laughs> <laughs> that's a good. Oh, that's there you go. Is your mic secure? Is your AKA. Mic secure? Yeah. Yeah. Mm, he's mm, pick him mm, up. Mm, mm. Mm. Little nudge. <laughs> Yeah, it's just a little. But yeah, we um, we tend to uh, we tend to use mostly plain language for the most part, especially when once it gets into into stuff like that. Like even I guess the the only real consistent code that we use is like we we use four fifty for your for your DUIs and stuff like that. Everybody seems to do that. Um, but for the Jersey uh, in New Jersey, a uh, for the two C code, it's like four dash five zero or four point five zero something like that. So 450 drivers are our DUI drivers, which is wild. We don't get, it's so wild. We never get like just the gentle swerver. Every so often we'll get like a gentle swerver and we'll get, we'll get a DUI on that. But a lot of it's just like reckless stuff. Oh yeah. Dude. Someone dragging a hubcap down the road and just sparks flying. Oh man. That's more so in my my EMS town, not my my quiet cute little town. (laughs) Dude, I had a guy, it was, well, I want to say, I want to say I had a driver. And a 911 call came in and said, hey, there's a car and it's driving and there's tons of sparks coming from it. And the thing with moving vehicles is you'll call 911 and then the 911 person will relay it to dispatch and then dispatch will then put it out to you. There's like two (coughs) or three minutes sometimes that goes by unless it's like a a priority one call, which is like shots fired. Hey, somebody, Mm. you know, then it's like, boom, right away. But when it has to do like a a car... (laughs) People be like, hey, they're at this intersection. And I'm, at, I'm in my car. I'm like, that intersection's like close by, but they're going to be a quarter mile away, mile away in yeah. like one minute. 
you know, in two minutes. So like, we, what am I really? Where am I going to go? Where am I going to look for? Where they, am I going? They're going to stay on the same road, straight, and just hope that we run into each other. <laughs> just so happens that this car just goes right <clears throat> in front of me. Just, it had no front wheel. The front wheel was flat. It was flat. And then they rode it on the on the rim so much that it filed the rim down almost all the way to the bolts. Oh my god! Yeah, oh, my oh god. it was it was bad. And I'm like, do that. lady, get out of the car. Uh, <clears throat> what are you doing? <laughs> what would you say you're doing here? You know, a word. A word. She, she's like, oh, I got a flat. I'm just trying to make it home. I'm like, honey, what? Look, I'm trying to be as nice as I can. This woman is just not thinking flat. clearly at all. Just, oh, I thought I could make it home. Like, didn't you feel, you know, every bump in the road? She's like, well. Did you, did you feel your engine bay dragging on the ground? Dude, I, and I think that her, I think there was the the rear wheel on the same side was flat and starting. And it was like, just like getting chewed up oh. because some somewhere down the line must have caught a chunk of metal something? and just yeah, ate it up. Wild. I was Wild. like, you gotta be kidding me. But that's that's what that's the way the DUIs are, man. She wasn't she wasn't a Dewey, but like the one time where my last Dewey guy almost hit me. I'm in oh. the middle of the oh yeah, it was close. Uh, I'm in the middle of the road, lights are on, by a police car. I'm blocking uh, laid hose for firemen who are putting out a, a house that's almost engulfed in flames. So they're like, yo, we just because of the position of where this house is, we got to run a lot of length of hose. We need police to stop cars from running <clears throat> over. Then I'm like. Oh, Absolutely. We can do that. Bet. That's our job. Bet. I'll feel important. Right? I can help. <laughs> <laughs> you know, maybe maybe someone will like me like the firemen. Uh, people love firemen. Cops. People love firemen. Yeah. Because the worst thing that happens is you go to hospital. <clears throat> the worst thing that happens when a, a cop shows up is you don't make it home. <clears throat> people don't like that. People don't like jail and people don't like going, not going home. Be surprised how little people like jail. It's, yeah. for, for some place that they ain't never going back to. They, they, they seem to go things. there a lot. Yeah. It's, so this guy, I, I got my lights on. I'm slowing cars down. It's at an intersection. So like, you know, I'm, I'm doing the tracker for the lights. And this guy just drives right by me oh, and just by. looks at me like. Oh, no. And I'm like, you got to be fucking kidding me. <laughs> I like threw my flashlight at his car. And then I got, I was like, just start running today. after him. <laughs> oh, yeah. I ran back to my car, jumped in it. I'm. My buddy that was there, I was like, I'm getting him. <laughs> He's like, you almost clipped me. And uh, I pull him That's over. terrifying. And I pull him over. <laughs> and the first thing that's out of my mouth, I was like, all right, hey, man, put it in park. He's like, it is in park. I go, no, no, it's not. I go, put it in park. You're rolling back. You're rolling back. You're rolling back. Put it in park. <laughs> right into my car. And I'm like, oh. you got to be fucking kidding me. I'm like, that's it. You just you just back. It's all my body cam, too. I was like, you just, you just backed into a police car. You're, I'm not going to eat this damage. You think you're yeah, going to get not. away with anything now? You think I could have taken your keys and driven you home now? Even <laughs> though you almost hit me? <clears throat> no, nope, that's gone. Get out of the car. Get out of the car. Get out of the car. Put it in park again. I did. No, you backed into my freaking car. You're not moving because my car's behind you. <laughs> Correct. Dude, I was so cheesed off. It was like the, it was near the end of my shift too. Like he had everything. He had everything. He checked all the boxes. Dude, he, he could have gotten out of it. He could he could have gotten at the end of the shift. DUIs take a while. Mm. I'm not trying to ruin anybody's life if they got like a C or D driver's license and they, you know, they drive mm. for a living because that's catastrophic. And I'm not sure. here. That's game over. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not here to ruin your life, man. But once again, I said it earlier. I go, people arrest themselves. Dipshit mm -hmm. backed right into my car. And I'm, listen, there are few things that I'm afraid of. Internal affairs is one of them. Mm -hmm. I don't need IA coming down here and being IA. like, "Why is there damage on your car?" Well, if he did it, why? And it was, a, it was, you know, and you, why didn't you arrest him? I'm like, ah, mm -hmm. oh, no, sorry, dude. No, nope. you got to go now. <laughs> yeah, that's unreal. I think my favorite calls are usually the the unknown medicals. We're like, uh, dispatch to such and such a location for an unknown medical. I'm like, did you, did you ask, ask him what's him? wrong? Right. <laughs> ask him what's wrong. <laughs> Nothing. Yep, you just. Can, can I just? Can I, can I just go to the hospital? Yeah. What's wrong? I just. Can I? Can I go? You. Yeah, man. What? Jump in a bus. Just. <coughs> don't call me. People need me in emergencies. You can so, walk. Like we'll go to unknown medicals, and it's like anything from EDP to just 
any any type of ailment, just anything. And it's like you couldn't ask them on the phone. Because for us, we don't have uh, we're not a PSAT. We're not a we don't have a um, when you call nine one one, it doesn't go right to that town where, where I'm an EMT. Yeah, it goes to the county. County calls us and blah blah blah. So it's like, did you did you maybe ask them what's wrong? They're just no. All right, cool. All right, all right, we're on the way. Yeah, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. It's fine. It's fine. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, that's that's the business, man. That's what we do. <laughs> Oh, the new the new sheriff's deputy is like everybody loves hinge cuffs where I'm at, bro. I do not. You try to arrest somebody that's squirmy. You need a new room. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he's in the room. You are you are you are now the smartest man in the room. <laughs> do I? Do, and then he asked me, "Would you, anything to recommend on high gloss footwear?" No. Wear sneakers, dude. If you're gonna be out, high gloss footwear. You know who wears high gloss footwear? Troopers. You know who yeah. doesn't get in foot chases? Troopers, love you, troopers. Eh, in a, a little, kind of. Get, but, get yourself some some Bates Sport sneaker boots. Dude, call it a day. Find an all black shoe, <clears throat> an all black. Uh, what do you call that? Cross trainer shoe. Yeah, it's like a, they're 140 bucks, but it's one is good for your feet, and two, when you're running after somebody, you're gonna like that's what you're gonna need. Mm-hmm. Nobody's gonna care that you got a scuff mark on your shoe if you're making good arrests every week. You it's know what I mean? That's it. Great for yelling at judges. Yeah, it's yeah. It's not like that one drunk <laughs> chief. Did you see this video that uh, jumped out on his uh, one of his officers in the middle of a DWI? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I, the, I didn't see it. I heard it. I heard about it. Oh my god, that's the next video. <laughs> this drunk chief jumps out and it's just like my guys are doing police work. I better, I better nitpick their fucking uniforms. Looks at the the sergeant and he's got like some uniform that's like uh, it's it's police is like faded out of it he's worn it enough it's probably his favorite jacket you know mm. but police is kind of worn on it and just drunkenly from the sidewalk just starts giving him shit about trying to look professional look professional as this hammered chief is yelling at him from the just street screaming what are you doing so tell tell me more about professional Continue. right Right? Tell how how much tell me drunk man screaming at me from the sidewalk <laughs> while I'm trying to do my job. How professional I look right now. Hey, because hey, Chief, I have you know a faded do, uh, name on the back of my shirt. Chief, you know how to do SFFTs? Uh, just show me real fast. Right? Yeah. <laughs> just <laughs> show me real fast. Show me real quick. <laughs> How, you, how would you do it? Can you look at the, my finger? I I just gotta practice for this yeah, guy over if, here. If I was gonna ask you to stand on one foot with your foot raised and uh, cow for me. Do you, could you show me how to do that? Could you show me how to do that? If <laughs> I show you real practice. quick, would you be able to mimic me? If <laughs> I I just you let real... me know if it's right or wrong. <laughs> oh my God. Could you imagine? Dude, you know what? Guys like that, <laughs> I would 100 like you could DWI him and I think everybody in the department would be like, just cheer. <laughs> we don't really like it, but we'd like it. <laughs> this is an awful idea. Oh, <laughs> oh no, please don't stop. Shakes hand cordially. Right, <laughs> man, that was a really dumb move. As they pin him an award <laughs> on your car. There was that one. Uh, can't remember. She was, I guess she was on some sort of council board. It was over. It was in Jersey, where uh, some woman got out of her car, started screaming at two officers because her daughter and her daughter's friend were like on a traffic stop. It was yeah. like a no big deal traffic stop. Like, yeah, it was like, a, I just screaming at him. The guy's like, you know, I wasn't gonna do anything, but I don't really like the way you're talking to me. Yeah, <laughs> I was like. What, you, what is this lady doing? Just digging holes. Dude, I remember that was, yeah, that was super viral. She was like a part of like the Port Authority. She, yeah, she, yeah, she yeah, was, yeah. Yeah, she was like a commissioner's sort of, assistant or something. Correct. She was, she was a big wig. And then yeah. she's just like, one, it, that, the drunk chief and that lady, when you're so far removed from what mm. police work actually is, and all you do is hobnob <clears throat> and politic, which is a necessary mm. part of the job. Right. Yeah, hey, you need new cars. Evil. Yeah, it, you get you need new cars. You get to shake the 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 mayor's hand. Like I get it. And mm-hmm. Nobody's nobody's without blame yeah. here. Whatever. So, yeah. but you you got to realize <clears throat> when those things come out, and unfortunately, it's too little, too late. Those people are so far removed from what policing actually is on the streets, sure. doing the <clears throat> jobs, assisting the citizens. Even though it's a DWI and it's an arrest, at least telling somebody you've done this too much. And now you're caught with it. This is unacceptable yeah. behavior. You've got to deal with the consequences. Like, and now you come out of your car and you start screaming at him. Her pulling up on a traffic stop. Yeah, that's crazy, a, dude. <coughs> dude, that's super dangerous. You're on a highway. You, dude, that's the fastest way to get put in the back of my car. Yo, listen, mm-hmm. you, 
you're a part of my traffic stop now. You know what that Welcome. means? Well, I'm responsible for your safety. Mm -hmm. So the only responsible thing I can do when I'm outnumbered three to one is I got to start putting people in the back of my car to make sure they don't mm -hmm. get out and run around or grab something out of the car right. or do something stupid. Like come over and start screaming at me like a Karen. Yeah. And she kept backing up too. She kept backing up into the road a little bit. Like, that's terrifying. Like, what, what are you thinking? I don't know. It's, it's these people that are so far removed from what it's actually like to do the job that they mm -hmm. go out there and they just... Yeah, I mean, I'm super lucky. We don't in my the town that I work in. I don't have any highway, where I'm where I'm an EMT, so I don't have any stretch that's my own highway in town. So I don't get called to the highway. So um, I don't I don't have to worry about getting out on like the side of the highway and going to work to a car. I've, there's stretches in the town next to me where I've had to go, but that's very few and far between. That's luck of the draw. Yeah. Um. But even on my side streets, like I don't I don't want to back up like without looking into a side street, you know, or even on the main roads, like you get you get plowed. Yeah. You know, it's hard to do that on the highway at a traffic stop with kids over here. It's too much. Too much happening. <clears throat> Way too much. Well, on that positive note, I've kept you here far too long. We're going, we're well over an hour and a half now. And frankly, Glorious. I need to watch a little bit more Avatar because I just started watching <laughs> it on Netflix and I'm, I'm a little in it, you know? I see no problems with that. I see. <laughs> I have no qualms with this. So, weirdos, welcome. Or welcome. See you next time. Tell them. Where can they find you? Badge 502 on TikTok, on Instagram? Yeah, Badge 502 on TikTok, EMT Badge 502 on TikTok, and I am trying to grow that YouTube. So if you guys want to jump on the YouTube, Badge 502 on YouTube. We're going to be putting long-form content out there uh, as soon as possible. We're going to be doing really cool. Uh, I actually had a really cool thing for Christmas where I had a big thing when I was growing up. Like People would send us Christmas cards, and we'd hang them up on the wall. We'd, we'd like wallpaper the door and hang up the Christmas cards. Oh, yeah. really fun. And uh, I had people, I said, listen, for every card that you guys send Badge 502, I'm going to donate to the local food bank. I thought that'd be cool. I thought, you know, get you know, 50, 60 cards. It'd be really cool. I have, and I can, I can show you them over here. I have, oh, God, hundreds of cards that showed up. Holy shit. And, uh, yeah, like 300 cards that showed up. So I have... All those cards, so I'm gonna donate that. But people actually also sent money too, cold hard cash. In Damn, the that's how you get so it done, up, man. Them greenbacks. Yeah, it's up to up to 500 bucks. So we're gonna be doing a food bank, uh, food bank video showing all that process. So if you guys oh. want to jump on that, badge 502 on YouTube. Come on. High level of integrity you have to take that money and give it to people that deserve it instead of just pocketing it like so many Damn. assholes that I made videos on have. I, I even kept you. it separate. I even kept it separate. Where can so they? Where can people <laughs> mail and the, their donations to? Uh, if you guys are so inclined to do that, you don't have to send money. You do not have to send money. But if you do decide you wanted to send a Christmas card almost three months late, I won't be mad at you. And uh, that's my P.O. Box. It's P.O. Box 775, uh, Belleville, New Jersey. 07109. Yeah, I've got it right next to me. It's been up the entire time. I've had your uh, your TikTok pulled up. So cool. They can just reference that. Yeah, and there it is. Right up there. Sure, man. Yeah, no, it's been a pleasure, man. Thank you so much for having me. It's been a blast. I, I've been, like I said, I've been following your channel for as long as I've been subscribing to, to channels. So, I mean... To, to just be here and uh and to uh to be able to tickle your mustache a little bit it's been an absolute hey. blast i'm super i'm super uh I, it's, this is one of those i kind of feel like i made it for moments so. <laughs> i'd let any emt tickle whatever they want on me because if if you got to tickle dude i've been in flipped over cars and <clears throat> shit just take off my clothes and touch me and make sure i'm good to go i trust you <laughs> you want to talk about tickling wait till you see tomorrow's video <laughs> on that no 